Richard Ashcroft. Check the meaning on XFM 104.9. We're back, Steve. It's Saturday. That's true enough. Uh, Steve Merchant, that is. Hello there. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously. Hello there. Carl's still away. Claire Sturges is back. That's Hello. absolutely true. Yeah. Hello there, Claire. Nice to see you. So I think a lot of people were hoping that Carl will be back this week, but yeah, uh, we're pleased were. to have you. No, they were, actually. I did get some emails during the week. Really? Saying what? Just, just saying, it's really nice to you know hear you again on the Saturday afternoon. It's nice, and um, but but you're not really very funny. And when's Carl coming back? Uh, you know? So it's sort of being sure nice it wasn't to, to us. No, no, it was because <laughs> I think that as well. <laughs> but no one can compete with Carl. They we, can't. Well, we used to sort of like um, come in and uh, when we discovered Carl early on, we just thought this is comedy gold. Just let him speak his mind. Mm. But then we started thinking, oh, we can't follow him now. Yeah. So I remember Steve going, look, we've got to come up with some we stuff. Need, we need to chat. If anything we've got to say to each other, we've got to say that in the first 20 minutes and then you just unleash Carl. Yeah. Because it's, like a... it's just, just, you can't follow him. Yeah. And he's, he, he's off on one. And they have, have stories of um, upbringings with bizarre creatures that lived <laughs> in Manchester that were half human, mm. half bat and frog mm. and things. I'd love to take him back to Manchester in some kind of TV documentary. You know, when Carl <gasps> went home. And just wander back, maybe try and find the uh, amphibian twins or whatever those yeah, people were. They with the... They're, 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 yeah, so there was two two boys. Both had big heads and webbed feet. They weren't related. They did. They didn't hang around with each other. That I was went, all the information we had. I went. Why not? He went. That would have been too obvious. Yeah. Like they yeah. look at each other across a room and go, yeah. "Yeah, you think if I'm coming to see you just because we've got <laughs> just because yeah. we're a similar species? Yeah. You're mistaken, mate. Yeah. You make your own friends. One starts to walk over, the other one shakes his head and just mouths too obvious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Too out, obvious. out of one of his mouths. Yeah, that's what they're expecting. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> don't, do it. Don't, don't, don't do it, Webby. Yeah, but anyway, he'll he'll be back sure, uh, shortly, I'm sure. He phoned me. Um, uh, his dad's um ill. Uh, his dad's in hospital, so Carl went back to sort of look after his mum. He was so sweet. He said, oh, "I'm back here, just driving my mum around." He went. He said, "So unbegrudgingly, he just went. Um, it's like old times." And uh, I said, "Ah, oh, so, sorry to hear that." He went, "That's no, all right, yeah." Um, and uh, I think he's gonna be fine. Um. And I said, how was your holiday? He went, yeah, it was good, except <laughs> it were a nudist speech, so he didn't tell me. <laughs> I went, of course it was. I went, originally he went, well, uh, sitting on the, I, I don't know why they have to do it. I don't know why they have to do it. Why do they have to do it? He went, Suzanne said they think there's nothing wrong with it, like being a transvestite. Right? <laughs> right? I went, I love the fact that your girlfriend has to tell you what's wrong and right in the world. And he went, well, we're walking along the beach, fella coming towards us, with Nobel. I went, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> right? <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, uh, and because it wasn't all nude, he's walking round, he's stark naked and he wants the freedom of that, but he's got a big rucksack on his back with his clothes on just to get changed. <laughs> he went, so what's the point in that? <laughs> right? And I went, he should just carry the book. He went, what, and covered it up when he went? He went, oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> See? He went, but I wasn't happy. He says, and that was the first day, so we didn't go there again. <laughs> So I, just see, I just imagine his little face. <laughs> yeah, he's just going, all oh, right, God's that. That's out, yeah. that's out. What's that doing out? Mm. Why has mm. he got his out? I imagine Carl sort of dressed in a suit. <laughs> in a sort of safari <laughs> yeah. suit, done right up with a cravat. I'm not, I'm not undressing, I don't want people seeing the flesh. <laughs> oh, you know, that's, for, that's for you, love, and no one else. But I love the fact that, as this is going on, goes, Carl, they, they don't think there's anything wrong with it, they're just mm. happy that way. <laughs> and, he, and he, in his own mind, just goes, like being a transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> he knows there's nothing wrong with that. I'm always a little bit suspect about people who like walking around nude. I thought you meant transvestites. No, no, nu nudists. <laughs> what? Hold on. Can you, what, have you, a, can you, you be a naked something? transvestite? What are you then? Yeah, I suppose you're a... When Eddie Izzard's naked, is he a naked transvestite? That's an interesting metaphorical, is... uh, metaphysical question. Yeah. Yeah. On XFM one <laughs> If you know the answer to that metaphysical <laughs> question, or indeed any of the famous ones, uh, if a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, has it fallen over? Any of those. That's brilliant. Yeah, what's, if you what, leave the room, Rick, what's the does sound? it get quieter? Yeah what's, yeah, what's the sound of one leg hopping? <laughs> exactly. Uh, what we got there, Claire? Um, do you want some music? Or yeah, I'd love to hear it. What got? Chat? Yeah. I've got the vines, actually. Oh, All play, right. it, play, oh, it, play it, play it, play it. Hey Claire, out of the way. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you. It's the uh, it's the name of the uh, the song by the Vines. <laughs> like, excellent. So, yeah. Uh, oh, X Men one four point nine. I'm Jamais with me, Steve Merchant. Hello there. And uh, Claire, Claire Sturgis. Sturgis. Have Claire you ever been to have you ever been to a nude speech? Is, have either of you been to a nude speech? Uh, yes. I found have you really I I No last month I went on holiday to Antigua and then I went on the nudist speech. Really? I wanted an all over. Sure. Because mm. I um I was with my uh, <laughs> family once when we went on holiday, family holiday with uh I just got you going on and a, and a inspector coming along going and the glasses <laughs> <laughs> and the glasses and you, and you don't wear them there. <laughs> uh, um 
No, we went there with, uh, it was some friends of my family, it was like family friends, you know, like kids, so it was kids my age and my sister's age who, uh, and parents were all friends, you know, da, da, da. Go, to the, go on holiday to this, end up on this nudist beach, not, not a nudist beach, but where people sunbathe topless or whatever, or maybe, oh, yeah, maybe course. it was just oh. because, maybe it was just because it was France. Where well, I yeah, think a lot of that exactly. goes on, generally. Yeah, all, all, all yeah. beaches in, yeah, mm, yeah. Uh, I mean, no, but it's, that's different. The, the news beaches are sort of, they're cordoned off. Sure, they're, they're, yeah. yeah, with the, the cocks and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say that. You can't say cocks. Or did you mean the chicken? Do you mean <laughs> the, the chicken? chicken. A lot of, a lot a lot of, of naked people farms, a lot carry of French male farms. birds around There is them. a lot of poultry. And by male bird, I don't mean transsexual. You don't mean, no, I don't want to, because that's also, that's yeah. also offensive. <laughs> that is also <laughs> offensive, so be careful. When, yeah. whenever Please be careful. Claire, Claire be careful well, what you're going to say on there. I just want to say to the radio authority, or anyone listening, when we say cock, we are referring to a male bird, and, and... There is no yeah. discussion there, there's nothing, no, there's no other not. issue, there's no there's other no ambiguity. Issue. Okay, go on. What are you talking So, um, there's people walking around with their birds and, 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 uh, <laughs> and often they got their knobs out as well, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, so there was, it was just a topless, it was just a topless beach. So we're all on So holiday. there were tits there as well? There were some tits. Oh, yeah. we, we've got, we've got a family of tits that come and eat the nuts. <laughs> that chew I on think, my I nuts. Think go on. We're confusing, we're confusing. No, no, we have! <laughs> we're, 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 Jane's got a little, um, bag of nuts. That right. she makes me hang out of the window. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> so you'll often be hanging your nuts out the window. And the tits So the tits can... <laughs> Sure. God, I don't <laughs> know what. <laughs> Please, go, go on with this story. Sorry. Will you? So what Please. I'm saying is, God, what I'm saying is, yeah, we went on there was a family there. Yeah, there was some tits, there were some cocks, <laughs> and uh, okay. and I found it all a little bit because I was about fourteen or something. I found it all a little bit disturbing. I because yeah. I hadn't been introduced to this sort of thing before. Yeah. and obviously my dad was having none of it, like a bit like Carl, and obviously my mum wasn't up for that. So, right. but the person we went, the, the mother of the person we went with, she uh, she took her top off, and I was like, I was. I didn't, I, d I didn't know where to look because I didn't want to make an issue of it. I didn't want to make, you know, I didn't want to. But it was like because I was with my mate, I was going, well, I don't know what to say. Well, there's your man with the knockers out, really. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, ah, your, that's your mum over there. Hello, Dave. Well, was, oh, 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 there, there's your mum's. There's your mum's. There's your mum's knockers. Um, oh, oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. You've, oh, there's your dad. There's your dad popped out. Yeah. Popped out. He's, he's got little the, man. He's little, little man. Um, his little fella out your there. Your dad's fella's there. He's wandering about. And, uh, he's, he's having a. And your mum's loving it. Uh, he's getting a tan the, on his the little, little milk fella. Is out. So um, yeah. <laughs> it was all um, it was a little bit disturbing, and I've never quite got that that image out my head really, because it was it was all. But I didn't know where to look. I didn't know what to do. My friend of mine. I won't say his name is right. Um, uh, he's about 25 now. When he was, I think, 14 and 15, I mean, the worst age, he went to a nudist holiday with his parents <laughs> and, and his, and his sister and some of her sister's friends and he absolutely hated it. Yeah. It absolutely. Well, that's, it, I, 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 it, it makes me, I'm sort of queasy to think about yeah, it. Especially yeah. if you're with your family and friends. Yeah. Because it's. I don't mind looking at nudie ladies that I don't know, really, but I don't want to look at relatives, you know, or people <laughs> I've, gr I've grown up with, or indeed the likes of you. I don't want to have to see that kind of flesh, then. I don't want to, I don't want to know what's going on underneath those clothes. You know, oh, you've keeping them hidden from me. Well, you haven't. You've, you've shown me much of it <laughs> in the time I've known you. So well, sometimes- There's I'm not, so you know, there's not a bit of your body I haven't seen at some point. <laughs> you know, you'll have got your trousers down, look at the arse! That was, you know, thinking that was hilarious, or the old, you know, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the Johnson. Um, feeding the, the birds on the mm, windowsill. Mm, um, mm. but, uh, yeah. No, it is, it is strange because, there, you know, there isn't, there isn't anything wrong with it, let's face it, there isn't anything wrong with it, but, um, I know what you mean. I think so it's because we spend so long, we spend so much of the time covering it up. You know, it's like, it's like in the summer months when girls start wearing kind of short sleeve, uh, t-shirts or short skirts, you'll have blokes just going mental. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think it's because we spend, Hormones. women spend most of the year because it, it's so cold here, covered up, that men forget what's you under know, there. You know, and when, then when, when summer when, comes when around, they can't believe it. When do actually just hang out of a car window or hang over scaffolding and say, get your tits out, mm. I want to go, has that ever yeah, worked? has it ever worked? Has, have you, and what's your success rate with that? Well, well I women? was off to my big job in the city, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got 20 minutes, why yeah. not? Shall I come up there or are you gonna come down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh dear. Extraordinary. Oh. Right, what we got? What we got coming up? What we got coming up? Quick, keep them hooked. <laughs> well, you know, Rick- We've uh, got some songs and some more chat. There'll be some, uh, chitter chatter and, uh, there'll be some songs. We had an email last week from a fella, uh, calling himself Paul, I don't know if that's his real name. <laughs> he said that sometimes- I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm already suspicious. <laughs> yeah. He said that some time ago we played a, a cracking Johnny Cash cover version of U2's oh, One. Oh, Remember that? Oh, I think yeah. maybe the last time you were here, Claire, Oh, maybe. class. Um, and he says, uh, he's, he's been trying to track down that album. He says, unfortunately, like an idiot, I didn't listen to it and I, was, I didn't catch the name of the album. Could you, by any chance, send me, uh, the album? He's having a laugh. He's having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what, for free? Yeah, so, that's well, not gonna happen. Uh, actually, email him back, say, Paul- Shall I do it now? Give us, give us eight quid. For no reason. 
I've also I've also called him some quite offensive names. It's good though, that. I'll put uh, from Gervais. Oh dear, he's not gonna yeah, like that. That's pretty grim. Nor's his mother. No, <laughs> he shouldn't have brought her into it. <laughs> Indeed. Johnny <laughs> Cash. Oh, oh good enough. Johnny Cash. Change from a Jurex machine. <laughs> oh, that's classic. <laughs> Johnny Cash and his cover of uh, U2's One, magnificent tune. Um, that's from the album American Three, Solitary Man, that was released in 2000. And uh, I've just checked that email that Paul, if indeed that is his name, yes. sent us, Rick. And he didn't ask for a, a copy of the album. He right. asked for the name of the album. Right. So um, I feel a little bit bad that I uh, <laughs> sent that email back insulting him and his mother. Yeah. Uh, and also, of course, I CC'd it to his mum <laughs> as well, <laughs> yeah. and many of her friends. <laughs> So, Send um, another one. I feel, uh, I think we I can get around this. I'll tell you what Paul would like if that is his if real name. his name, yeah. He'd like some adverts. Oh, he'd love some bloody adverts, Paul. <laughs> Oasis, little by little, on XFM 104.9. I'm just moving the mic there. Hold on, I'm getting comfortable. There you go. Right, sit up. I was laughing. A lot of people do that. that. A lot of people do that during the song. A lot yeah. of the old pros. <laughs> no, a lot of the old no, pros, like, like Foxy and Tyrant and the like. Oh, um, uh, they were on uh, Top of Pops yesterday, but they, um, they did, uh, My Generation. Any good? Yeah, very good. Mm. I mean, uh, uh, you know. Was it, was it close to the original or did they make yeah. it their own? No, it, 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 both. It was pretty close. They did, you know, musically it was close, but you mm. know, they had a certain... Was it Noel singing or Liam? Uh, Liam. Very, very cool. Very mm. cool. Good no, swagger. He's, he's an amazing. Attitude back. Yeah. I think back on four. A lot of people tell me though that uh, if you go to any of these big stadium gigs they do now, it's an absolute nightmare because a lot of the fans are really grim. I mean, I've spoken to two people independently who've both been at gigs where there have been fans weeing on other fans' shoes. That's not what I want from a that's gig. That's not nice. No, that's not good. then. Well, yes, apparently. That's theirs, yeah. then. Oh, yeah. what? If you wee on something... Yeah, you own it. That's it. Cat yeah, law. Cat law. Cat law. Yeah, cat yeah. law is if you wee on <laughs> yeah. something, then you own it. Yeah. yeah. I know you live by cat law. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. But you do live, because I... Yeah, no, yeah. I've... My wallet, I think you own. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Several telephone boxes. Yeah. Much um, of my hair. <laughs> um... Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about nudie beaches. Uh, yeah. Because I just... I still can't get around... I don't know why they only play volleyball. No, that's what they do, don't Surely there's other games you could play. I think mm. French cricket would be slightly more. All the pictures I've ever seen of, uh, news colonies always seem to be quite attractive women and some r fairly grizzled sort of 45-year-old men. I don't know if that's generally the clientele that, you know, it just happens to work that way. But I'm quite looking forward to getting to around the 845 mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cruising down there. Uh, happy birthday. Right, I'm off. <laughs> exactly. Where are you going without your clothes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at what point, I mean, you can't, you can't go into a nudist colony, can you, without taking your clothes off? <laughs> you can't. I, I don't know if there's a, a door policy <laughs> no. where they said sort of No, I think there is, I'm sure. I'm... Oh, actually, no, because when I went to my nudist beach, there was actually a security guard. Stopping you from- Naked? No, no. <laughs> no, Claire. That's very strange. Would it be strange. possible for a bloke who was, say, a fairly good swimmer to swim up to the beach <laughs> in a wetsuit and not France. have to come? Yeah. Okay, well, I, <laughs> yeah. Let's say, just say for, for the sake of it that this person, you know, had some time on his hands in <laughs> a week. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and he was, he'd, he'd make he'd, quite he'd, a bit of money he'd recently trained, he had some time. He trained nine hours a day at the lengths in the pool, yeah. thinking that if I, I can go, I can get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eurostar to France. It exactly. could work, it could work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what was your nudist beach experience? This was not, no, this was not a colony. No, no. A colony. She just was a choice that this this place had a few beaches. One of them was a nudist beach. And could you, you see the nudist beach from the regular beach? No, you couldn't. You right. see, it was just round the What corner. about with binoculars? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but you see, my, my, my worry is, as as um, a healthy young man... Yes, um, you're not if, a healthy young man, are you? No, no, but I'm talking about you two. You're right, sure. You're pretty healthy young men. Mm. How How awkward it must be for you on a nudist beach if you do happen to see a very good-looking, naked lady. Mm. What you do if you... Mm. Well, that's the reason I, that's the reason I've not gone to any. Okay. Claire, just exactly that worry. Because it is very off-putting. Yes. If you had, you say, it sounds like this is a confession. Well, it, exactly, yeah. Go on, I what did happened? actually happen to us. Really? A, an older gentleman, an older gentleman obviously was enjoying his time on the beach. Right, explain more. I and then quite... came over to chat. And you just don't know where to Sorry, ha so hang on, so he... He approached you. Yeah, for a chat, as you do. People are friendly. Right, without wishing to get too lewd within a state of arousal. <laughs> <laughs> Is How that far case? can we go down this? No, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to sort of, I don't want to get too kind of, you know, graphic. <laughs> 
or gynecological. Have you noticed? Gynecological. That, I was going to say how, how quiet yeah. Ricky was keeping. But so he came point. over. He came over. Well, I'm worried about this. I'm, I'm worried about telling this story. But I think it's an interesting. I'm interest, I think yeah. it's an interesting point. Yeah. Because it's a. So he came over and he was just chatting away. Yeah. Quite proudly. Yeah. <laughs> well, eventually got quite proudly. Yeah. Yeah. And what was? Oh, why God. was this? Claire? I mean, not wishing to be disrespectful, but you know, he's a I man. He's, he's been around a bit. Were you reading erotic poetry? <laughs> what were you? No. I was talking about the weather. Right. About how nice it was today. And he tr and he approached in pole position, or did he? <laughs> no. Or, oh, or did he? I don't like it anymore. Oh, Fine, okay. I don't God. like it anymore. Right. Let's leave it then. Let's but that's leave what it. I did. I, I actually ran away. You ran away. That's I went swimming. Was he French? Was it was it quite tricky to speak to him? Oh, no, no, he spoke perfect English. So right. uh, during the during the break, <laughs> like Claire said, oh, oh, I won't well, lose which ones, right? And this man came over, uh, an old fella. Um, and uh, and she started off. I you know, said he had the biggest knob I've ever seen. <laughs> and then I laughed. And then she went. And then he, uh, then it got no, bigger. And no. I went. You can't tell it then. I was worried about that. But she left out the funny bit and just went. You just went all <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. So uh, play Bob worry. Dylan. Only Bob Dylan can get us out of this. Uh, this is off um, his uh, his last album, uh, Love and Theft. It is the only track I really like. I'm afraid I didn't get on with the rest of the album because it was too, it was too ho downy and country blues and stuff, which is it's just not my sort of thing. But this is a, this is a nice track called Mississippi. Bob Dylan, Mississippi. Um, off, uh, off the album Love and Theft. Uh, I must admit, not not my favourite Dylan album, but um, that's a nice track, isn't it? It's a lovely track, actually. I just noticed there you've uh, you've brought in three CDs. Yeah. Um, you bring those three in every week, don't you? <laughs> you just play from those three CDs, or well, or, or, or you substitute the Dylan for different Dylan albums, yeah, and the other so two remain the same. Well, no, I've got no. I've got him playing a different uh, different Cat Stevens. I've got Tifa Tillerman. I've never bought that in before. Yes, you have. No, I've seen it before. No, I've never bought in. I've never played anything off Tifa Tillerman. I've played it off uh, Catch Bullet Four, Teaser and a Fire Cat. Um, Do you, you don't have a sort of deal with Island Records to try and keep that like, Cat <laughs> Stevens no, back catalogue afloat. <laughs> <laughs> no one's really shifting it. Uh, <laughs> I think it might just be the CDs that are in the bottom of a bag. This is why I'm so lazy. Yeah, it's just you've got I'm one carrier it. bag that you bring back. And, exactly. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll look forward to those later. Yeah, go yeah. on. No, 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 no. I was just, I was just really wondering, Rick, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but could I have some adverts? Yeah. <laughs> Feeder, come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Hello there, Steve Merchant here. Of course you are, and uh, and and so is Claire Sturgis in a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's true enough. So That's true enough. Yeah. Um, Rick, uh, oh, I parted till it was, I parted last night, Rick, like it was 1999. Really? Uh, all over again. Old fashioned sort of way, some yes. records. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes. On my own. <laughs> <laughs> In my flat, crying. <laughs> just like 1999. Yeah, just like 1999. Now, uh, I went to see Prince. At the, oh, yeah. Uh, at the Hammersmith oh. Apollo. And I tell you this, I mean, if that's a man whose career is going down the pan, then I'm sorry. Then, then I hope ours does. Then I hope ours does as excitingly as that. <laughs> does. Because Dude. he was stunning. I yeah. mean, he is, I a lot of people I know have seen him in the, in the, in the 80s or whatever, and he's, when he used to descend from a ceiling in a, a little I red know. Corvette and stuff, but he is breathtaking. He is I, like, I thought, I always he's like he what it must have been to see Elvis Presley. Well, I yeah, really no, know, no, I've no, not I, seen anyone who's electrifying on stage. I mean, I, I think like most people had a bit too much for him, and that wasn't because his, it was going downhill. It's because he churned out double albums like most people churn out singles. And you don't know what you should. You can't take like, it all in. I, there was just too much. Yeah, I didn't like the you know the the sort of the end of the eighties phase either too well, much. Well, that whole period when he was f fighting with Warner Brothers and he was he started wearing masks. Slave. And, and and I think everyone just thought I'm not interested. Yeah. You know you're you're potty. But, but he's going to come out the other side of that. Great and, um, tracks, great pop tunes, and he's written. So, you know, I think well, he's brilliant. I, I mean, I you know I don't bandy this word around, Rick, as you know. Go on. But I'd like to use the word genius. I thought you were going to say I'll pay for that. No, 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 no. Genius. Oh, wow. Genius. I, cause I would That's say- That's a strong word, Steve. That's a strong word. Rick. It is a strong word, Can you back it up? Have you got any, any example of his work that we could play now on XFM to show that he is a genius? I, well, I will in just one second. Thanks for asking. But, um, <laughs> can I, can I try and justify that? Can I just, cause it is a controversial phrase yeah. to use. Um, Prince is a genius. And yeah. let me tell you why. On his first album, or maybe on a couple of his first albums, he played all the instruments. 
Brilliant. Like Squidly Diddly. <laughs> exactly. In, in one episode <laughs> of that, I saw. <laughs> he, he was Hardy playing lads. the piano. Diddly was Excuse playing the piano me. with his two tentacles. Then he was like playing drums with two tentacles at the back. He was standing on two tentacles, which was the other one free for trumpet. Well, that so, sounds like genius to me. Yeah. Oh, That's from Mr. Prince. So, the only thing I would say about the concert last night, three hours, he played for three hours, yeah. non-stop, well, yeah. almost three hours, non-stop, didn't take a break. <laughs> a cracking band, only five people. Imagine <laughs> taking a break, just reading the paper, having yeah. a coffee. <laughs> going, what are you looking at? And also, very I've witty. Minutes by very law. <laughs> very witty as well, because a lot of people imagine him being quite dry and quite sober. He's yeah. very funny. But sadly, Prince now, well, I don't mean to be offensive, but, but, but as so far small. as I'm concerned, what? he, you know, he's now a Jehovah's Witness. Is he's he? now a Jehovah's Witness. So and he's going to come round tonight. Well, no, but at the end, he did sort of spout on about, uh, you know, his beliefs. Yeah. Uh, and I felt a bit like I'd sort of, do you know what I mean? Like I'd sort of paid 40 quid and I'd queued up and I'd sat for three you hours to then, to then be, to then be preached at a little bit. So that was anything that, to, to put Well, I'll tell you what, good job for him. He was good value because he'd have got an earful from you if he did. <laughs> oh. Imagine if he'd not played the singles exactly. or only did like 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, I'd have been livid. <laughs> I'd have stormed out. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but, um, but I did, because so, I don't know Prince, when it, So, you've had, uh, yeah, that's interesting, uh, Steve Merchant says, Prince is a genius. This is XFM 104.9, coming up to two o'clock. <laughs> Prince is a genius. Can we open the phone lines, please? What's the phone, uh, number there, Claire? It's 08700 800 1234. Me and my mate were talking about when people say genius, and they do bandy it around willy-nilly, and it's sort of like, um, a, a, a comedian or something, they go, he's a genius. And we think that there's, there's people in cancer research, sort of laboratories and age, and they're going, <gasps> we lost another one to ITV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why yeah. didn't he go into science? <laughs> he could have been the new Newton, but no, he's getting the ratings up for five. <laughs> exactly. So, but, yeah. but Prince is a genius, uh, is he? Ricky Gervais at XFM .uk if you'd like to email. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, genius, or little fella. <laughs> it's up but, to um, you. But when you are a Jehovah's Witness, I don't know. I don't know much about the uh, the faith. But um, right. you are you are you obliged when you sign up to sort of do your time going door to door? Because it would be I amazing. Think... Imagine Prince turning up at your door and just, "Hi, can I come in?" Well, or oh, no. <laughs> and it, you know, and just coming in and uh, well, I'll sing you some of the hits. But I'd like you to buy a copy of this afterwards. I'm not really interested. Well, they... Which ones are you going to play? Which ones are you going to play? I'm not a big fan of. I don't like uh, if I was your girlfriend and anything from Diamonds and Pearls. I'm not interested. In, so shoot off. <laughs> yeah, I quite. Because like I thought they were going to start selling the watchtower at the end. The most beautiful. I like that one. Yeah. Well, there's the, those fat people. In it. Does it make it? Does it make him a genius? Oh, call up one zero two three five nine six four two nine. Prince, genius or bloke with hair? <laughs> well, this has got to be proof of his of his genius. One, he played it last night, and it's just dynamite. There is strawberry scar. <laughs> Prince, of course, and Raspberry Beret, one of the tunes he played last night, and, uh, breathtaking. I have to say, I can't sing his praises enough. Although, uh, didn't manage to get myself into the after-show party, where Prince is often renowned for playing with the likes of- like, Jamming! Like, with the likes of uh, Rolling Stones. What, what, what would have been your, uh, your approach to Hello get there, in? Uh, Steve Merchant here, XFM, Ricky Gervaisia. Um, any chance I could come in <laughs> to um, your party? To your party, please? Uh, I'll be honest, um, uh, can I, can I call you Lanky? Well, they could help me get in, yeah. Um, it, it, it won't, but thank you anyway. I'll be honest, Lanky, your chances are slim to none, four eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the concert, if that is any... Okay. I'll, I could talk I'll, about it on the radio. I'll I'm talk about it on the radio I'm gonna tomorrow. take away that slim. Okay. It's none now, <laughs> right. freak. Okay. Okay. All right. So go away, yeah? Cheers. Okay. Um, was it something like that? <laughs> it was not dissimilar, it. <laughs> there was a lot more profanity last night. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> and punches were thrown. Was it last night? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it was breathtaking. I, um, how's it working out for you, Rick? How's it working out for you being a celeb? How is that working out? How's that panning out for you? Is that alright? Really? Is that working alright, Rick? Is it? Hey, all the fame and everything. How was, was, how was David Bowie on Tuesday? I read about that. Why, why did I have to, why did I have to read about your presence at the David Bowie gig in the Evening Standard? Why do you keep that right, from me? Okay. Why do you keep that from me? Right, okay. Right, I know what you're thinking. I got an invite, it was freebies and I didn't Because I discussed you. this in the past. I said yep, if you get no. invited to David Bowie or any of the big name yep. concerts, I gotta go as well. That's the right, rule. That's right. The rule is that we make the TV show, you're in the show, you become famous, fine, yep. but I need to be able to also get the benefits of that. Well, I didn't go. Was, did you read this in the Standard? Yes, I did. Yeah, no. It said- Well, I, uh, it was present, in the paper, Rick. It I was know, in the paper. It said present at the concert. It's absolutely true. I'm not, I'm not bullshit. Uh, absolutely true. Um, in the concert were Ricky Gervais and uh, Jonathan Ross. Now we were invited, but we, we couldn't go. Neither of us could go. So right. they just I just think they must have seen a copy of the guest list or someone said they were coming. Or they just guessed. But I didn't go. I couldn't go. 
So there you go. It was Wednesday and I couldn't go. If I'd have gone, you'd have been there, mate. Rubbish. <laughs> Because what worries me is yeah. that you what, you you were invited or or you requested tickets and then you didn't go. No, no. Um, what happened was so the um, uh, Bowie's uh, people just said, "Are you coming to the concert tonight?" And I I I, I said I I couldn't. But, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wait to, a minute. To get you off this track, right? The next night we did go to dinner with Bowie at someone's house. Well, look, wait, right, listen, it was a very, it was a small affair, it was, it was, um, me and Jane, Jonathan, uh, and Jane, it was, um, David, uh... First names. Yeah, no, no, and, uh, it, I think it was it, it, old friends of the family, it was a, a beautiful house, and, um, it was just us lot, and, um, Richard E. Grant and, uh, Pete Townsend and Charles Sarchi and that, and it was just, just, you know, I think it was, it's, <coughs> and it was set places as well, so I couldn't have got another... It was weird because we got there. We, got, I mean, it said eight for eight thirty, and I got there at like five past eight. And Jane, but we can't go too early. And we went in there, and we, um, the, uh, the, 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 the servants, um, got, gave us a, a, a drink, and we were standing there. And I was looking around. It was an amazing house. It was a beautiful house. And there's Damien Hurst paintings and Lucian Freud. And I thought, well, when the host comes in, I'm going to go. You didn't tidy up for us, did you? But I was actually so overwhelmed. And uh, in through the door, let himself into the door, was Richard E. Grant, and I went. All right. He went, yeah, I'm Richard. I went, yeah. All right. <laughs> and, uh, I, I went, just, just let yourself in. He went, yeah, I live next door. I went, oh, okay. And then, uh, and then David Bowie came in and he came over and spoke to me and he's, he went, I've just seen your video and, uh, and then, um, this isn't helping, is it? Because you're, you, 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 this isn't helping. Well, when you, I mean, the phrase I, I was just going to pick you up there on was, I've just seen your video. <laughs> um, because, because what, what, no, I just feel that what, no, I've, no. Just, just for a second. <laughs> what, what I feel, what I feel that David should know, <laughs> is that it wasn't made sort of solely by you, no, or, or no. written entirely by you, or directed entirely no, by you. It, no. it, it happens to feature you amongst a, a myriad of other actors, all of whom are brilliant and equally worthy of an invite. Uh, yeah. to that particular deal. Yeah. But, but you'll notice that the, the person that's representing the show, what got you a pl place around this table, you'll notice the one person that was invited is you. Yeah. Just, just you, just you. Yeah. Well, there's a very good reason And a that. woman, what do you know, who wasn't involved with it's, the show? Your well, girlfriend. Well, your partners, you got you know, that, well, that's it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, but once again, she could have stayed at home. <laughs> you could have gone on Hello? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did actually say, if ever I get invited to see Woody Allen, and it, it's two people that it would have to be you and Jane that went because you're both bigger fans than me, and yeah. I, I promised that. And uh, so, um, she went along with that. So, David enjoyed the show, did he? <laughs> he did, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, he did, yeah. And uh, and how did the evening pan out? Was it suitably rock and roll? Um, it was very nice, it was really nice, a pleasant, um, what did you have to friends. eat? Um, I had, uh, it, there was nibbles sort of coming round, nice. and then, um, yeah. they but, fed you the food, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, I bet they fed you the food. <laughs> and then, um, we had, uh, um, oh, what was it? What was for starter? Um, oh, it was like a, a ravioli thing for starter. I thought, I won't have too much. I fill out the, for the fish dish. The fish was lovely. Then there was a sort of chestnut mousse. And what did you talk about with David Bowie? Um, just, you know, you know, music. Yeah. Music. You appearing on his next album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, what, seriously, what, because I'm interested to know. It was, it was really nice. He's re he's really so nice and normal. And, uh, he actually came over and, uh, he said, I've, I've just seen your video. And the, uh, and then he went, he said, are you going to get the band back together? <laughs> he meant he'd seen the Room 101. And, right. uh, he was basically taking the mickey out of me. Mm. Mm. And he was going, no, I thought it was really good. Uh, and, uh, Because uh, <laughs> you were just a sort of Bowie ripple exactly, from you, essentially. Exactly, yeah. And, yeah. And, um, no, it was, re it was really, really nice and normal affair. I, I'm, uh, seriously, it was just really, I mean, I was going, oh my god, there's so-and-so, there's so-and-so. Yeah. Um, but it was really, re we really enjoyed it, it was really pleasant. And, uh, everyone was, you know. And at the end, um, uh, the, 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 the people whose house it was, was a friend of his, like, like, sort of really old friends of his, got a photo album, just like you do, and those pictures of, like, David 
Bowie. And, uh... Dave, yeah, sure. Well, it, no, I mean, that's the thing about DB is he's, he's... No, no, and, and Iggy Pop when they're cooking, and, and Dave was always sort of going, look at Iggy cooking. And he yeah. was laughing like you do a mate you haven't seen. It was yeah. so sweet. It was just so nice. And then, I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna see how, uh, the play record, Claire, because it is actually a little bit annoyed with me, the play record. Then Robert De Niro popped in. <laughs> yeah. And it all got a bit depressing. And Woody Allen. Yeah. And he went, do you know anyone that likes my work more than you do? I went, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Dreaming of you on yeah. XFM 104.9. I'm yeah, one of the uh, one of the only tunes on the album I think worth listening to. I haven't heard it. Oh, it's rubbish. Is it really? I think everyone's singing its praises like they're the saviors of British rock, but it just sounds like the inspirable well, carpets, that, and I don't mean that as a good thing. We were <laughs> <laughs> skeleton know, key I, as well. Steve that's not too bad, yeah. yeah. But the rest of it, right. I think it's not. I think it's more sort of like 19, sort of 78, 79, sort of those. Mm. But I don't know what that means, Rick. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it, I don't think it ripped off the nineties. I think old hat, you mean? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. like it. Let me just return br very briefly to your oh, uh, your. Um, God. No, I don't. I, I'm not going to embarrass you, but yeah, just returning very quickly to your uh, your dinner date with uh, David Bowie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what what intrigued me, as you said, it, is that when you um, no, it wasn't it wasn't because of the office. It was through um, the, uh, I think because oh, I met him with Jonathan Ross. Sure, no, but times, what, what, what I thought was interesting is you people he'd met over this time. So I think he was going back to of America. course. But it, I like the fact you say that uh, he. Could over to you and said, um, I saw your tape last night. Yeah. You know, I just like the idea that people are sort of saying, oh, you'll be having uh, lunch tomorrow with uh, Ricky Gervais. I don't know who that is. Well, uh, there's a tape, watch yeah. that, and you'll be able to engage in some kind of vision. He's a minor celebrity here in Britain. He's uh, had a relatively successful TV show, but we think he's a bit of a one-trip pony. Probably won't be able to repeat that success, so uh, probably won't need to be eating with him in the next five years, but be polite tomorrow. Uh, he was a big fan of yours. Uh, he used to embarrass himself in the 80s uh, doing a sort of vague pastiche of you, and um, other than that, there's not much else to say, really. Uh, just be polite to him, and then no, move on. Okay, who else has got, you know, it's just sort of, yeah. it's very odd that he was given a tape. It's like someone, uh, you know, if you were doing a, a chat show, you imagine Michael Parkinson would be given a tape. I know, yeah. Just, just watch this, David. Oh, actually, he's, I think he's been a fan for a long time. <laughs> oh, what? I, th I think he's followed my career from the 80s. Sure. No, yeah, I, uh, yeah the, uh, when you put it like that, it's not as flattering, is it? It's free. But he was very nice and very polite, and, uh, we got in like a house on fire. Sure. No, he's great. Did he's you do really your impression funny. of him? No, of course I did. Did you not? Did you feel like the urge to snap into it just occasionally? <laughs> uh, and I didn't. I didn't. I was just going. That's David Bowie. There. Yeah. That's, oh, that's still David Bowie. <laughs> that's David Bowie talking to me now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's David Bowie talking to me. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that looks yeah. like David Bowie. Yeah, yeah, that was what was going through my head. Yes. And we're talking about his songs, and like that was bizarre. Mm. It was. It was quite surreal. And uh, you know, and I do know a lot about his stuff because I, I mean, yeah. he really. He, I mean. He's quite a musical hero of mine. Yeah, and that, so it was. You didn't, you didn't mention Tin Machine. I didn't mention Tim Machine. Because I'd just no. be there just thinking, don't mention Tim Machine, don't mention Tim Machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't even bring it up, don't even, see, don't, don't even say you like it, because you don't know what he feels about it. You see, I think if people listen to this show, they go, don't invite Steve Merchant because he's insulting. <laughs> He insults people, he sends emails to people when he reads them wrongly. Yeah. He, he'll, he'll bring up a period of your life you don't want to talk about. Yes. Get the little short fat one. He's, he's, he's a lot more polite. Sure. Leave out the lanky yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. But they probably wouldn't say lanky, Rick. But, uh, they don't know what I look like because they listen to me <laughs> on the radio. I, don't th I think they're insulting. They might say, oh, you know, West Country, or Eek or something. Yeah. But... Uh, who was it I was listening to so, some, yesterday? There was someone had a, um, a Bristol accent. Fascinating. And um, no, but no, I think, oh yeah, it was some, um, one of those, uh, um, the Fame Academy. Disappointed, but I think you'd have to get into it. Um, bit of a shower was the moment, but I mean, no, there's no investment, I didn't know them. And one of them had a Bristol accent, and I just thought, it really is a stupid accent. What have we got lined up, <laughs> Claire? What have we got? Well, a bit of John Spencer blues Oh, explosion. I love this, I love this. Yeah. This is an old classic right. I uh, brought in today, and I think you'll enjoy it. Hello. <laughs> Don't even start on that, Rick. There's so much I could attack you about. I mean, look at you, look Wait. at you, you're laughable. <laughs> John, John Spencer Blues oh, Explosion. Oh, you do it. Well, Sorry. no, I, you know, I just thought I would. Yeah. On account of, I brought it in. And then someone was complaining that we speak over each other. Yeah, we had an email saying uh, we gabbled too much. And, and we you know, and we both went, I don't think we do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say that? I didn't hear you. I was talking at the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, right Place, Wrong Time by John Spencer. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. We also had an email. <laughs> you didn't enjoy that? You didn't enjoy nah. it? No, 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 no. Nah. Um, nah. we also had an email saying, uh, nah. again, nah. No, go on. I won't. Uh, I did this. Go on. Sorry. No, no, you. You can see why that would annoy me. I know. 
You can see why that might annoy me. Take your bit. headphones off then, because that's- it must be louder in your headphones, because I don't wear headphones. No. I'm not so much thinking of me as the people listening at home. Okay. The people who pay our I wages. Think, go on then. It, we had an email that said, uh, <laughs> but I, d I don't know who's the victor in this, Rick. I don't know who's winning with you making that noise. <laughs> what? You're the only person who's enjoying it. <laughs> but well, yeah, but I only do this for my. But there's but a handful of people listening, Rick. <laughs> Who's, who's, <laughs> who's Saturdays, Rick, are empty. They've got nothing. Okay. They're running on empty and this okay. is all they've got. Okay. And they, 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 they want conversation. Okay, they want well, an what are you discussion. gonna say then? It depends if it's interesting or not. Well, let me say it before you make the judgment. Okay. So, let, all right, what about this? If you don't like it, if it's not interesting, then you make the noise. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. So, this is just, uh, we had an email. Right. It said, is Claire Sturgis drunk when she does the show? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that was a real email. I've lost it now. But, really? um, so does that warrant the noise, or? No, that's right. That's okay, quite interesting, that's, yeah. Yeah, quite interesting. No, email. she's not. No, she's not drunk, is she? A bit cooked <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, just it's a bit. It's not true. The old Charlie. No, <laughs> not true at all. No, you don't, you don't do drugs, do you? Claire, you're not no, into drugs, are you? No, no, no. Yeah, you're, you're clean now. I am now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did that out. go for you, the detox? It was great. Yeah, it's good. Mainly thanks to you two. Yeah. yeah. The support At least you don't have to steal so much now to feed the habit. Yeah. Anyway. Are there any drug addicts on this station? No, not anymore, no. But you, because I bet there are. I mean, you don't have to name names, but what mm. about initials? <laughs> <laughs> Who's, are, there, are there any skag eggs, any, any smackheads at all? <laughs> Seriously. Because I'm intrigued. Not anymore, no. Can you tell me off air who's, who's a drug off addict? Off air, I'll be happy to tell you. you there are anymore. some. Yeah, there were, not anymore. What do you mean, they, what, what, they no, got rid of No, there them? weren't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stop this. Are there any people who, like, no. they think that they've got it under control, but <laughs> yeah, they haven't exactly. really? <laughs> it is, yeah. there are some, aren't they? They go in, they think that no one will notice, but they've got no pupils. Yeah. <laughs> and they just stare at you for ages and go, what? At the end of each sentence. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a couple of drunkards, I know, but there's no... <laughs> it's boring now? Okay, play a record, it's boring. <laughs> Richard Gray's just telling us it's boring. <laughs> Queens of the Stone Age. There. No one knows. It's going well. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Bad, yeah. yeah. Adverts or what? Um, what do you reckon? <laughs> He's loving them. He knows. It's getting away with it from electronic, of course. Fantastic right. tune, yeah. No, it's That's a, a, a mutual favourite of ours. We, we both like that, don't we, Steve? We do indeed, we yes. Like we are mutually appreciative of that track. Ricky yeah. Gervais, of course, friend of the stars. <laughs> Claire Sturgis is here, my name's Steve Merchant, ahoy. Yeah, XFM 104.9. So, uh, I saw um, you the other day, cos I, I haven't seen you this week, but I did see you, uh, walking down the street holding a gum shield that you just bought. How'd that work out for you, the, uh, the boxing? Oh, it was really good, Cos like, we talked about, are you aware of this, Claire, that he wants to become a boxer? <laughs> this is something that Ricky <laughs> talked about the other week on the, on the air. He suddenly yes. decided at the age of 40-something that uh, boxing is really well, the profession no, he should have taken. Well, no, 40-something means 47. <laughs> I'm just 41. Okay. I am 40-something, but 40-something uh, is like a euphemism for nearer 50. Yeah. So don't say 40-something. Okay. Say 30-something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, he's taking up, but apparently there's something called white collar boxing, Claire. Yeah. Did we mention this last week? No, you didn't, no, but I, I didn't know something about it. I think you mentioned it yeah, he, um, last week. White collar boxing. Yeah, it's, it's basically, yeah. it's like a kind of, it's like an, uh, a classier version of Fight Club. <laughs> the film Fight <laughs> yeah, Club, have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, instead of, they don't meet in sort of dingy cellars, they no. meet in what, office blocks? Or? And it's usually for charity at the Grosvenor or something, or a big hotel, I don't know, and uh, you just have like a bill on there and, uh, and uh, you punch each other <laughs> for charity. Serious? Yeah, but anyway, I've been training, I've been training <laughs> boxing for, for a while now, just like, you know, the pads and everything, and last week we started on, uh, sparring, and it is a different level. Honestly, I mean, I can work out now for an hour on the pads, and I did about one and a half rounds, and it was like I was asthmatic, because you're also, the trainer, who is a, who's a, you know, a bit of a boxer himself, put the gum shoe and he goes, okay, I'm not gonna, and I was giggling with fear. I was giggling with fear, and he said, you've got to get a gum shield just in case, and that's where he saw me. I'd, I'd gone to the Lonsdale shop, and I got a, a gum shield. I just, I, I said this before, Claire, is that I just don't think it's a good idea. I mean, you know Ricky, you've known him for a while yeah. now. He's not, he's not mentally tough. Which yeah. is a problem, I think. You know, he's not sort of psychologically. He's quite un he's quite weak. <laughs> like he's scared of a lot of things. You know, <laughs> cars, spiders. Um, I mean, he'll get. I I've seen yeah. him, like edgy. Like if a car blows its horn and he's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And you hear it outside. You know, eh, what's that? Is it coming through the door? Is it? No, it's all right, Rick. We're, we're on the eighth floor, and it's across town. It's fine. Don't worry. I don't like crossing roads. No, he can't. I mean, I've I never like seen a man so terrified. On the motorway, if uh, someone's going on the motorway, well, I'm looking at the speedo, and if it's like 86, uh, 76, I go, well, let, you know, just let's go in the slow lane. And I'm looking at my eyes like saucers, just <laughs> taking all the information. 
Yeah. It, yeah. Because you can't drive That's as well. That's a rational fear, though, isn't it? Dr- but I think scary. it's because you can't drive. Yeah, possibly, So, for instance, yeah. the fact that you're, you know, I've seen, I mean, here- Actually, clear up, because I can't drive and I do exactly the same yeah, thing on motorways. Yeah, so that's all right, yeah. But do you, but do you do this, Claire, which is when you're in the back of a cab <laughs> and you feel the cab's going too fast, despite the fact that you're, say, driving up Shaftesbury Avenue in rush hour. <laughs> yeah. So you're never going to pick up a great deal of speed. Yeah. But Ricky will, he won't mention it to the driver, I feel you're going a bit too fast, he'll whisper it to me. No, he's basically suggesting that, no. to me that I should that I should say something. Because <laughs> I'm Ricky Gervais off the telly, I don't want to cause a fuss. Yeah. You better do it, Steve, because you're nobody. <laughs> That's basically what he's no, insinuating. Roads, roads so I've always got to sort of make the complaint, or yeah. I've got, you know. And but you're uh, terrified of, yeah, you're terrified of, um, of that. <laughs> you're terrified of spiders, as we know. Yeah. Um, cobwebs. <laughs> Well, that's rational. Pictures of spiders. That's, there's no smoke without fire. <laughs> yeah. I know who made those webs, Steve, <laughs> and they live there. Yeah, it was you that yeah. got the certificate, wasn't it, raised on the Spider-Man film. <laughs> <laughs> So they couldn't show the trailer before, you know, you'd gone to bed. <laughs> Are you scared I, of Spider-Man? Does I, he I, terrify? No, I'm not scared of Spider-Man. No, I'm not scared of anything. Uh, but I got, I quite, I used to the, uh, you know when I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? That one that kept walking off the stream, I got, I got used to him, I got, I don't know him. Louis Geller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was alright. Yeah. Yeah, he was alright. So you're, t- you're scared of that? Tarantulas aren't as scary as the bath ones. Tarantulas are sort of like more furry. But, but what um, about these, because you know these programmes where they have, they'll have people on and they'll kind of, they'll, they'll sort of, like I saw a show once where it was about phobias and a woman was terrified of dogs and a psychologist yeah. kind of got her to spend some time with the dog yeah. and slowly, you've, you've got no urge to sort of try and have that, that therapy done and so you can maybe deal with your, uh, your, which is basically, let's be honest, uh, a, a woman's <laughs> concern. <laughs> it's a, it's a woman's fear, like, isn't it, essentially? <laughs> like I stand on a chair. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, but I saw one, um, what's that one, um, he's really nice, he's not Jerry Springer, he's really nice and he has, you know, weird people on it. What's it? Is it Montel uh, Williams? No, no. Montel Jordan? No. <laughs> it's about 50. Um, Maury, Maury. Yeah. Maury Povich. Povich. Maury Povich. Yeah. yeah. Is it, he's the one without glasses, isn't he? Yeah. Who cares? Okay. You saw Maury Povich. But yeah. And there was like these women on there, right? And the, you know, sort of, you know, trailer trash. And uh, they were going, just scared of snakes, aren't you? And then a woman would go on a snake and she'd be screaming, knocking things over. And uh, I'd go, well, that's not doing anyone any good. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's just for the audience to prove my point that she's terrified. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was like tinfoil. And someone brought on millions of bags of tinfoil and she was screaming. Why? She was scared of tinfoil. Yeah, that's worse, isn't it? Scared of tinfoil is pretty mad. Yeah, well, there's, I mean, it's, it's irrational. You, you I can't know somebody who's, who's afraid of buttons. Yeah, afraid of buttons. Yeah, afraid of buttons. Weird going on in your head, and it? it's uh, some sort of but, weird symbolism. But I, un- I understand the snake, uh, the snake one, or the spider one, because I understand, you know, there are poisonous spiders and snakes. Well, but also, but it tin also foil could be sort of like buttons? chemical memory. Yeah, that could be, you know, but it's usually some, you know. Um, but how do you? Because I don't know. I that, see. Yeah, because I don't have any irrational fears, yeah. particularly. Well, don't, I, don't, I, yeah. Don't don't confuse. Except, uh, except when with you're with flatulent. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm terrified of because yeah. you never know when he's going to spring. Because he's not got any of the social graces, Ricky. He'll just think it's funny to just pass wind. <laughs> you know, dinner. I don't imagine he did it during dinner with Bowie. But if I'm having lunch with him, oh, it's just, and because he'll just start grinning. And you know it's on the. <laughs> you know it's on the way, Claire. You know there's something in the post when Ricky starts just, when a little kind of, when his lips curl up, you're having lunch maybe, here it comes, here it comes. Uh, and it is, I'll tell you, it is eye-watering stuff, I mean it's intense. Oh, tell that story when you're on the, um, the train. There is, the, there is only one smell that is worse than Ricky Gervais' flatulence. I was on a train once and, um, a dog was on, a guy was on there with his dog, and the dog <laughs> passed wind, right? I don't know what he'd been feeding it, like sheep or something. <laughs> You know, cattle. He must have been feeding it some, you know what I mean? Like intestines or something. It was intense. This smell pervades the carriage. You know, because they're all like air, they're all kind of air conditioned or they're, yeah. they're tight, so there's, there's nowhere for the, the smell to escape. So it's just, it's just kind of spreading, like in this kind of invisible <laughs> sort of stench that fills up the carriage. I tell you, that people's eyes were bleeding. Do you know what I mean? It was like, that's how, but it was just. It was unbelievable. I felt like my face was melting, like that bit at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> that was how it felt, right? And the bloke, who was obviously a bit embarrassed, said, uh, "Oh, oh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's worse, you know, with their flatulence, you know, people or dogs." And I wanted to go. I've got an idea. <laughs> how about dogs? <laughs> what about your dog? <laughs> It was unbelievable, but it's that, try, let's try and make a joke of it. No, get off the train at the next stop. <laughs> 
it was just, I mean, oh, I mean, I don't like people with dogs anyway, just generally. You know, you'll see people- oh. walk, No, Rick, when you see people walking down the road with dogs, and they just let a dog, you know, do its- its ones or its twos on the side of the road, oh, and then they just walk on. I just don't know what that is. No, it's you're like, not meant to. That's wrong, it's, yeah, No, but so. it is wrong, and it really winds me up, because you'll see people, it'll be like old ladies, or kind of toffs, <laughs> or something like that, and they were the sort of people <laughs> that will complain about, you know, bad language on TV, yeah. or youths, you know, or ne'er-do-wells hanging out by bus shelters. Yeah. But it's soon- but they're happy for their dogs to, you know, go crapping on the sidewalk. <laughs> it really- it, They anger me, people with dogs <laughs> who just are irresponsible like that. Do you well, know what I mean? I agree. Well, that's- the, that's nothing to do with liking dogs, is it? That- again, that- that's- arrogance of people who they think it's But there are right. a lot of people, as I say, who are kind of- who, you know what I mean? Who think they're better than- they don't have to worry. They don't have to bend down and scoop it up. I know. Which is what they should do. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that's- I got that off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> Play a record. <laughs> <laughs> U2, Electrical Storm, they've done it again. I thought that is beautiful, that track. I know you used to disrespect you I two. just didn't like them for ten years, and then, uh, All That You Can't Leave Behind came out, and I, I sort of thought, well, I could have been wrong, and that's brilliant. So, Rick, you know earlier I mentioned, uh, you, uh, Prince, and yeah. we asked the question, is Prince a genius or yeah. not? We've had a lot of response, What's mainly above, by, by email. Interesting, Rick, but some people think he is and some people think he isn't. Oh. Yes. Mm. Well, this, this debate will rage on. Can we have some adverts? <laughs> well, in the last half hour, Steve, they've heard They've heard Nirvana, they've heard, um, Oasis, they've heard great, they've heard Dylan, we've got, coming up, we've got Cat Stevens, we've got Tom Waits, you know yeah. what I mean? Now- It's great music. We're playing a lot of music and talking less in the last bit. Now some people, right, would say that's because we run an empty and we ran out of things to say at twenty past the first hour. Yeah. Right? I say it's because we want to get in some great tracks. <laughs> well, that's my excuse as well. What's next? Cat Stevens off Teeth of the Tiller Man. I've got nothing, Steve. You're, you're running, I know. Well, it's know. the noise. I think the noise uh, was um, the, uh, the noise. Was, was it the noise? The, the noise was really annoying. Miles from nowhere. Guess I'll take my. Cat Stevens from Teeth of the Tiller Man. So many people, Rick, haven't even got a Cat Stevens record in their collection, and you hear tunes like that, you, you just think, do you why? know what I think of them? You think why? I think why, Rick. Sometimes. We just had, we just had someone phoning up saying um, they want a bit of, uh, psychedelic furs, and Claire said, I oh, watched your favourite track, and we both went, it'd be pretty in pink. Of course. And it was. Yeah. But you know, you know you meant to say, um, uh, like a, uh, like on Heart or Magic, you're told to say, coming up a classic by so-and-so, and people stay Watch it in case it's their favourite, and if it's not, you don't give that away. But it doesn't work when it's things like I hear things all the time, like a and uh, after this, uh, a classic from May Not Work. <laughs> That'll be down under <laughs> yeah. then. Yeah. Coming up next, a beautiful tune by Danny Wilson. Mary's prayer. It's <laughs> yeah, Mary's prayer. Yeah, like... It can only be Mary's prayer. Yeah. No. So it, it doesn't work with those that <laughs> they've had one hit. Yeah. Or a tune from uh, Hearsay. Oh, I hate them all. Nice. You're like, like rock oh, and roll on, that Steve. We hate Don't kick them when they're down. Yeah, it's true enough. Come on, what other pop that do thing, we hate? You know that thing, um, um, yeah. Oh, no, we all hate pop music, don't we? That's yeah. why we're alternative station. I do rubbish. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Russ Abbott, atmosphere. There's no atmosphere in here with that playing. Oh. Um, <laughs> last night, thing started, the Fame Academy. And I, I've been, I'm quite a sad telly watcher, and I've been looking forward to that for about two weeks. I fell for the hype, I can't believe it. I love Pop Idol, I love Pop, uh, Stars of the Rival, I love Celebrity Fit Club, I, I love all those things, right? Um, but, um, dis disappointing, because they'd already picked them. I think it's, it's investment, and, uh, I'll be honest, I think the, the standard was poor. The standard was poor? I think so. I and are these people with different, uh, abilities, or is it all singing? It's, it's all singing. It, it's, it's rather like, it's rather like they've got us down to the last twelve of Pop Idol, say. It's like that. You yeah. come in at that level. But, but but to be fair to the program, I think it's all about what happens next because like, now they get voted out like Big Brother, right? Um, and and so, do they do they write their own material and stuff, or they'll be just... taught to do that? They've got the whole team together and everything, so then they're 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 um, filmed. You know, like the weather, twenty-four hours a day, and everything. And so, uh, I think you've got to get into it and get to know these people. There's always a few. There's already a few. I go right. She's annoying. Yeah. Right. Vote her out. And they have to. There's three that the 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 teachers say each week. Okay, you're up for, on probation, and then you you vote them out, and it gets to, it gets it down to one person. But the interesting thing is, um, it's not just they get a record and they release a single. They live the life for a year. Right. So they get this beautiful sort of pad in Notting Hill Gate. They get a sports car. 
right? right? And it says they get to go to parties. They're already set up to go to the FA Cup final, uh, the Brits and all those things. Dinner parties with yeah, everybody. <laughs> yeah, meet all these people, and then after a year it's taken away from them. Wow. They just take everything back. And you don't like this because you feel it cheapens, like, your celebrity lifestyle, which you've worked for. <laughs> no, but, but, um, the other thing is, uh, of course, they could be big stars by then, and uh, they just have to get their own car, but, uh, how do they, what- That psychologically's gonna be grim. But are, are we gonna follow it up for that year? Are we gonna, is it like- Well, that's when it becomes interesting. I mean, now, camera crews following hearsay, now that's interesting. Yeah, I know, and like, now what Jay did what next, yeah, exactly. they, when they actually, th yeah, yeah, that, yeah. but I, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Do you, how long, Jane, uh, Jane, why do I call you Jane? There's so many, the name Jane's been mentioned so many times. You can call me whatever you like, um, Steve. Uh, love. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long do you reckon Ricky would last in the Big Brother house? <laughs> if he was in Celebrity Big Brother, how long would Ricky stay in there? Well, you see, as a- Well, it depends, you oh, see. Go no, on, you answer. No, because as someone who was be, would be watching Big Brother if Ricky was in there, I would make sure that he stayed in right till the end, just for of comedy course. value. Well, of course, because you know he's irritating, he's a sort of- So I'm Chris but Eubank, You're the Chris Eubank of the house, but right. obviously a lot of people tend to vote out the most irritating, annoying, most loathsome person. Well, they want to get rid of me, but the public presumably yeah, the might public want me in there with as- As a <laughs> sort of irritant. You know I think the public would turn against you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, Rick. Um, right, well that's it. Right expose it. you for the charlatan you are. Go uh, on. Uh, we haven't played a song for the ladies for some on. weeks, because oh, yeah. I just keep forgetting to bring I one in. I need one, I need one. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, uh, I thought, you know, I haven't played Tom Waits for a while, and this is, you know, one of his classics, and it's just beautiful, beautiful tune, and, and however many times you've hear, heard it, it's still brilliant. Downtown train, Rick. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, we're that's back it. next week, and Carl hopefully is back with uh, us. Uh, Carl, I think will be, yeah. Um, well, we don't know, but um, hope um, I'm, okay, sure, I'm, I'm sure it is, and uh, we'll see him next Strokes, uh, someday. I'm already annoyed. I'm in I've a, been here three mood. minutes and I'm already annoyed. Yeah. Oh, I, oh. I'll bring back Claire, I'll tell you. No, it's not his fault. It it's is. the whole place. The library's shite. I tried to go. Oh, God. I had to go to, had to, go chill, to Capital Ride. Uh, oh. Chill, chill. Fancy that. Chill. I had to go to Capital Library to get a couple of records I wanted. Right? Place is falling apart. The email's not working. It's so shoddy. He's had two weeks off. Oh, my God. I mean, it, they. I really, they might as well bulldoze this, honestly, because mm. for all the. You know. It is ludicrous. And uh, we get paid peanuts. You get paid, do you? <laughs> 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 oh, and it really annoys me that they have to fight. Oh, anyway. Anyway, it's just calm down. 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant Hello. and Carl Pilgerson. Carl, you're back. All right. How was it? What, the holiday? Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't all fun, was it? Because my dad was in, uh, was in hospital. Oh, but he wasn't- He wasn't during the holiday. Not during the holiday, though, was he? You came back from holiday and then found that out, didn't you? Yeah, but it happened when I was on holiday. Did you know that, though, when you are on holiday? No. Because I didn't take my phone with me. Well, that's but the weird question. thing is, yeah. I got- I got a feeling. Okay. When I was sat there, because it normally happens. What was the nudie speech? Was it when I first went away? Oh, you saw to, that old fellow with his packet out. When I went to Ibiza, right? I uh, I had a feeling, and I called home. My dad had punched it along. When and you say you had a feeling, what do you mean a feeling? Just like, oh, I should call home. There's something not right. Mm. But this <laughs> time, <a> specific <laughs> feeling. How did that? <laughs> how did that manifest itself? <laughs> How does that, how do you it, get that? It, what kind of oh, feeling? God, is that I'm, tingling I'm getting, thing? I'm getting a bit of a lung feeling. <laughs> yeah. Mm, a bit of a dad lung that feeling. Like, that feels like a punctured lung. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway. No, but anyway, the holiday was good. We talked about it last week. Well, let's, let's probe Carl about his holiday later, because, okay. you know, that's the sort of thing that audiences will stay tuned for, Rick, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Find out about you know more things. about this radio <laughs> business than me. You know, you've enough. hooked them already. Indeed, yeah. Well, also, I'm thinking, we've got nothing. Ever now. We've made that. No, I resent it. I used to put a lot of work in, but now, you know, I think of the money, which is, you know, for me, pretty shoddy. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you, I don't usually you get make an awful lot of cash. Well, exactly, yeah, and, uh, you know, the whole thing is, the whole setup. it was raining today, I thought, I should have a cabin, mm. you know, mm, and then mm, the mm. sun came out, so I walked in again. Ah, mm. <sighs> <sighs> oh, dear. How are you? But, um, I'll tell you what, I got a bit criticised last week as well, that I, I only played ballads and same songs, so I'm, I'm gonna rock out this week. Oh, I'm I've been down to Capital Library right. to get some good tunes, and, uh, what about a little bit of ACDC? Oh. It took me all night long. Let's hear it. Well, that's cheered me up. In a better mood now? Yeah. Good. That's great. Let's three, three rock out today. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's set maybe Stones. 
Brilliant, yeah, some of the classics and everything. Yeah. Day. When are we gonna talk about Carl? Have we run out of stuff yeah, already? Okay, already. let's go. Okay, now, uh, yeah. So uh, where did you go, Carl? What was the story? Um, it was my birthday, mm -hmm. right? Um, went home after doing, working with you a couple of Saturdays ago, mm -hmm. right? Uh, girlfriend was like, open your card, open your card, and I said, no, it's my birthday on, on Monday, I'll open it You obey by the rules, don't you, on <laughs> birthdays? <laughs> the birthday rules. Well, there's no point. Well, exactly, <laughs> chaos leads that way. Yeah, <laughs> right, so, uh... Not an anarchist, never has been. So, no. anyway, she, she was kept going on, and uh, it was doing me heading, so I said, all right, I'll open it. Yeah. So, I opened it, ticket fell out, uh, surprise holiday to one of the Canary Islands. So... And what was your reaction? I mean... The first one was, we haven't got enough money. Right. For this. But I didn't want to ruin it, so... No. No, no. So I didn't, I didn't go on about that, and I said, oh, it'd be great. <laughs> so I can't wait. <laughs> so, Did you say uh, it in that tone of voice? Well, I, it was good timing, because I was tired and everything. Mm. And, uh, I'm not a big holiday fan. No. But the timing was right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the same as last night. I don't always like a curry, but last night... You're in yeah. the mood. You get that sort of, oh, yeah. Curry for you. Had a, you had a, got you had a feeling. feeling. Yeah, you had a feeling. And, and then, lo and behold, like, you were eating the curry. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Isn't it weird, the paranormal? Like isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? They, they work in mysterious ways, Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, right, um, yeah. the island, um, if I was on with you were here, I'd probably say it's a bit barren. Okay. Uh, not much there, mm -hmm. but if you get a hotel, you guarantee good weather. Right. Are you? No, what I mean is, <laughs> it'll be a good holiday. <laughs> if you get a hotel, right, the, the weather's always good, so, you're, so you, you'll have a nice yeah, time. Yeah, it was a comma, yeah, it was a, yeah, go Um, and all that, and the food was alright, and, uh, and everything was going alright, I was just having a nice relaxing time. And how do you sort of spend your time on a holiday? You just lie around, is that That sort of holiday, just lying around, yeah. I, I, I bought a book. You bought a book? Yeah. Okay, Ghosts? No, it was, it was short stories, right, it about was like, ghosts? no, it was about like, uh, like special days in our time and um, time oh. before me and stuff. Oh yeah. And it was like uh, it was telling you about how in I think it was eighteen fourteen the Thames frozen up. Yeah. And all these stories are told by eye eyewitnesses. Yeah, yeah. Right. So there's some fella who was around in eighteen fourteen, and uh, the Thames was frozen and people used to uh, put market stalls on there yeah. and they'd yeah. do the shopping. It was like a sh it was like like an Oxford Street. Was that Mad Liar Charlie? <laughs> No, because he's famous for that. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm sure, you know. No, I think that was Mad Lie Charlie. Right. Yeah. So, I was reading that, and then after a couple of days was a bit like, oh... Boring. Yeah, yeah. you can do, you can only do sort of so much lying around. And so much reading. So, uh, Suzanne said, let's go on the beach, yeah. have a walk. You ain't gone on the beach. Where have you been the the, up to this point then, in, the, in your room? No, just like around the pool, just, mm, just cool. relaxing and yeah, having yeah. a swim and that. Yeah. Um, so she said, let's go on the beach. I said, all right then, yeah. So, uh wandered down to the beach, and, uh, first impressions are, yeah, it's all right, it's clean. <laughs> uh, so Your criteria good. is so basic, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel, yes. Roof, good. <laughs> Food, adequate. <laughs> beach, clean. Next. So, I'm walking along, and everything's good, and, uh, you know, there's a woman, uh, feeding fish bread, which I uh, thought, that's different. <laughs> He likes originality. He loves a bit of originality. <laughs> he was feeding <laughs> fish bread. This woman was there, like up to her, up to her knees in water. Yeah, and she was stood was there. Was that the sea? Chucking, yeah. Oh, right, good. Ch chucking this bread, and I thought, what's she doing? And I stood there and watched for a minute, <laughs> and there was little fish coming up. I mean, the bread. I thought, oh. so I tried on, <laughs> carried on walking, and uh, everything's going well. And then this fella comes towards me. Everything's going well. <laughs> Yeah, that's I haven't fallen over. A clean, clean feeding bread. Mm -hmm. Two points for originality. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Fella comes walking towards me. Oi, oi. He's only got no pants on. Oh. So I said, Suzanne, what's going on? <laughs> Why did he turn to her? <laughs> like she knows more so than she him. Said, so she said, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, she said, yeah, it's a nude. Is thing. this going to be a long story? Could you, could you pour that coffee? Can you give me that coffee over? Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this is really bad. Yeah, because he's pouring. Thank you. Just amuse yourselves while we uh, talk the coffee. Thank you very much. Do you want, do you want I have a cup of coffee, Carl. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Do, 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 Cold. Do, do, do. Right. Good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So. Great. Thank you. So she said, "Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a nudist beach." So I said, "Well, why? What?" I said, "We're all mixed. Mi it's all mixed up. Normally on a nudist beach, yeah, it's a nudist beach, and you don't go wandering on there when you get your clothes on and that." Mm. So it annoyed me a bit. Because there wasn't any signs. So this fella's getting closer. Well, the knob out was a sign. Yeah. Right, so he's getting closer. And he walked past me, it was an old fella, 
uh, an immortal pass and he had a hat on and a, and a little pipe <laughs> and a big rucksack on his back. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he got me so thinking- not strictly I'm, naked. I'm walking along and I'm thinking, <laughs> right, why do people want to do this? <laughs> So straight away, it was, I wasn't on holiday anymore, because most of the time when I'm on holiday, I don't think about anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> Your just, mind's a blank. I just switch off. <laughs> right? But all, all of a sudden, this, this has got in my head now, and I turn around to, to look at him, <laughs> and- Check out his eyes. And, <laughs> and the bag, and this bag, right, I swear, it was, it was massive, right? What? You had a massive bag? The, the bag. The, his rucksack. <laughs> his rucksack. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> So when I said, he said there was an old couple coming towards me, I said, what was lower, the bloke's bollocks <laughs> or the woman's tits? And he said, well, that was another point, she might as well have worn knickers. Because <laughs> he said, you can see it, that's what he said to me. So, so, you, so you saw the bag. So it annoyed me, yeah, because the whole idea, in it, I, oh, this is what I think, and I mean, I might be wrong, right? <laughs> might be wrong. Chances are you, you never have been, wrong. you never have been before. Being nudist, right? Mm. What's it all about? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you, on that, on that point, Carl, let's play a tune, let's come back and we'll discuss- What are we gonna play? We'll discuss uh, that very oh. issue. We have- we got some ideas, we did chat about this last week, Carl, in your absence. Alright. Well, we'll play the choral. Okay. It's yeah. a good one, this. Yeah. <laughs> Carl, dreaming of you. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. If you just joined us, Carl is walking down the beach yeah. and a man has just passed him with his knob out. Yeah, his testicles out and his, his a huge, huge bag, apparently. Right. Now, we're gonna, we sum this up, you know, quick, because we didn't talk about it last week, you know, you did, you did call me and tell me some of these things and we, we sort of, uh, mentioned it last week, but, um, you just wanna say your, th just give us your thoughts on nudity. Well, what I don't understand is, right, nudity, I thought it was all about, you know, sort of being free. Yeah. Natural, letting the breeze, you know, blow around you and that. Uh, that's, that's all I can think is of, of like the bonus of doing it. Mm. But, you can get that by just having a pair of shorts on, right? Because mm. I'm not one for getting my kit off. It's just something a bit weird about it, isn't it? Normally, if I go for a walk on the beach, I'll, I'll put a shirt on. Sure. But leave it unbuttoned. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, 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 tease yeah. the ladies, sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But. It just feels a bit weird, mm. so it's best to cover your back anyway because the sun yeah, and yeah, all good that. Advice, yeah. But when I saw him, and I thought, well, right, is he doing it to sort of be free and be comfy and all that? And then I thought, but he's carrying a big bag. Yeah. Right? I've got a pair of shorts on, and I'm not looking at him thinking, I bet he's really comfy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. going. Oh, I can't wait to get home and get my shorts off. These, <laughs> they're, they're really annoying me. These. <laughs> so. <laughs> and that, that, that's just it. I don't get what it's all about. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, um, okay. Well, um, my, my advice to you is don't, don't, go, don't go to nudist beaches again. Well, I didn't. I didn't go again. Do you so play, do you play volleyball? Nope. Well, there's, no, there's nothing in it for you, to be honest, Carl. <laughs> do you ever walk around the house nude? Not really. Only if, like, it's quickly to sort of jump out of bed and go and get a glass of orange. But I've got to be careful, because living on a high street, this flat's right across the way looking in. Yeah. And the thing is, it's all Chinese like, fella. There's a little exactly. Chinese Exactly. And that was the other one, there is he the there's one There's the old woman reading a book. Yeah, it could be dead for all yeah. we know. Um, it hasn't moved. There's some bouncers and I, I, Some bouncers? I think so, yeah. <laughs> is that a euphemism? There is. <laughs> There's always, uh, Her name's Carol. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, the only time, if I nip out, so I could get out of bed at night, go and get an orange, I've still got to be careful, because if they're awake and I open the fridge door, oh, and the light comes up, yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll sort of see the light. And the shadow. Turn round. And the weird, long, stretchy shadow. Yeah. Um, yeah. what, what, what did you get, you get up and got orange juice or orange squash? You know, Robinson's. <laughs> You can't advertise on Why don't you take a glass of that to bed with? Why are you getting up? Yeah. Because uh, whenever I do that, I normally don't wake up and it's a waste, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the man is a genius. And he, look, well, continuing our, our, our rocking out thing. Yeah, we're in a rock mood. Well, I think this sums up rock and roll, doesn't it? It's not called rock and roll, is it? Yeah. Textbook. Coldplay. The scientist. Do you think that's about you, Carl? What happened there with all that rubbish pressing the wrong thing going out and out? I don't want to go. I've, I've sorted it now. Doesn't matter. Right. It's You've come back. Out. You're not focused, Carl. That's what concerns me. Your mind's on other things. I'm all right now, though. You're ready right? to go. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is. Oh, I. I just. I'll tell you can't what. Right. It. I'll tell you how focused I am. What? Got some new ideas for you. Go on. Oh, then. They've all been blinders in the past. Go right. on. 
Did you do any competitions when I was away? Uh, did we, I think we did, didn't we? Didn't we give away a DVD? Did we? Yeah, we did, we did. Yeah, go on, yeah, right. go on, anyway. Well, I've thought of some, uh... This isn't like radio, is it, as we know it? This is just people talking. Mm. If the mic's on, it's luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If anyone's listening, I'd, I've, you know, I've no idea what they think mm -hmm, of this show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not a show. Not in the <laughs> traditional sense. No. Okay, no. then you're gonna change with that kind of Because a show to... suggests a certain form of presentation. Yeah. A certain pride. And when we do present and it- dare I say it's some planning. Yeah, and when we do, it's ruined by impressing the wrong button. Yeah. yeah. But I've got some planning here. Go on then. Uh, Chris, what, you... what I did was, when I was on holiday, yeah. right, I, I, you, you said, you know, come up with a new idea, right? Mm. So the best way of coming up with ideas is sort of, um... <laughs> Thinking. Sort of nicking a, a TV show name and then twisting it a bit. So, or just rip off Simon, Ma Simon Mayo's idea completely. That's right. good advice for anyone out there. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're interested in, in ideas, see, uh, Carl is presently uh, um, running a course right in for TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, that's the lesson one, isn't it? Just that's rip something one. else off. <laughs> just just right. do it and change the title slightly. Yeah. Well, go this, on. This one I haven't really got. A, I don't know what to do on the game, but I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> st strike it, Ricky. <laughs> I that's all you've got? That's- oh, That's well, what you've come up I with? How long did that, that take? What is that? I just thought it sounded a bit like lucky. <laughs> forget that one then. <laughs> yeah, forget that one, okay, yeah. Well, no, right. no, no, good, no, no, we all have- we all have hits of this, don't we? Even Spielberg's, not all his films, you know, can hit the- uh, Go on. Right. No, okay, no, it's a good- it's, go on. Yeah. Do you remember Big Brother? Yeah. Do I remember Big Brother? No, go on. <laughs> Big Mother, right? You call in, <laughs> if your mum's ever, you win a CD. <laughs> Alright, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> right, here, here's one. Right, here, good one. No, here no, 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 no. Yeah, no. The price is right, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Right. The price is Ricky? No. The rice is right. <laughs> and what I do, I read from an Indian menu and a Chinese menu, you tell me whether you have pilau or egg fried. <laughs> He's a genius, isn't he? He really is a I modern. I that one. Let go on go into the, let's, let's, let's go into this one. Let, let's not cross this off right away. Go on, then. What do, you read from what? Well, I've got. I, I get a couple of menus from like an Indian or a, and a Chinese takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll go like, uh, right, um, oh, chicken korma. Well, could I just suggest that as it's an Indian, it will be pilau, and anything you read out that is. Yeah, but you don't know which one I'm reading from. What the chicken korma's Indian, isn't it? Yeah, so you go pilau. <laughs> but then, but then. Well, you, then you might as well say Indian or Chinese. <laughs> no, because then the, the name wouldn't work. The rice is right. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot you're working for the title backwards, aren't you? Okay, yeah. I'm right. so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know where I am or what, what I, day I, it is. I, pro I programmed that they've been in on Channel 4, right? Can you cross that out? It's, We're it's, not doing the rice is right either. I don't understand no. the rice is right. No, go on. I'll tell you that later. We'll have a game in the office, right? <laughs> um, a, a game that they've been in on Channel 4, but has got really big viewing figures. Well, but, obviously not. Right. Or they wouldn't be binning it. Go on. Do you know 15 to 1? Yeah. They're getting rid of that, right? Are they? I'm thinking, 15 Taiwan. <laughs> get some items that are made in Taiwan, right? Get 15 items, and y and I say what they are, and then you go, oh, I bet it's the vase. Or something. That's the one that's made in Taiwan? Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that again very quickly. <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, right, cross it out. Forget that. Cross it out. 15 Taiwan. <laughs> right. Go on. This is the one that I've prepared for, because I think this is- This, this is my dad. This is good. Let's go play on. a tune in this here after that. Oh, God. I'm very sure? excited. <laughs> are we gonna play it after that, or are we gonna say- No, you can explain no, it after that. I'm right. very excited. <laughs> We're doing that again, and it's oh, fantastic. Waiting on a Friend by the Rolling Stones. Yeah? Go on then, Carl. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Hilton. Go on. Right, this one. Um. Remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good and we'll do this one. Uh, Rockbusters. And remember how Bob Olness used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yes. Right, well it works like that. So if I said to you, um, you know, we'll test it out on you, Steve, right? Um, right, welcome to the show on that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play, right? And I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, because it's done like crosswords. Okay. Um, so not quite like blockbusters. Well, um, this young man prepared for his death. Right. And it's a W, so the answer, 
And it's not always going to be like our sort of music, it can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of? Of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name or is it, yeah. is it it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And, and so would the W be the surname or would you have both the initials if it was someone's name? <laughs> would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't uh, get annoyed, no. Carl. These are, these, <laughs> these these are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. I know because he tested it on me. So you've got to tell him. Well, we need to know the rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, no, no. Give him the answer. Give him the right, answer. did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue it's and the w. clue's fine. Listen, and the clue on. is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W. And it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't- Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, but that... they didn't do that on Blockbusters, they just had one letter. Yeah, they did, no, they did, they they did, did. if it was a, uh, if- The gold one they often had a th three or four. Did they? Letters, yeah. But it was normally just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W- it's W, uh, Y. W Y Will Young, excellent. Right, I didn't so understand it. What this was the young Will man prepared young. for this young man? So he's sort of mi mixed, sort of cryptic. Yeah, but I mean, you know, is there, there's yeah, a good effort. That's better than yeah. usual. No, it's, that is better than it's usual. not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play? Let's play Rockbusters. Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. How many of these have you got? No, because no, just, 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 just <laughs> let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we thought everything through. Because I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ollis just didn't turn up the first day. <laughs> and he goes, don't worry, we'll wing it, it'll be fine. Bring the <laughs> students in, let's have a go. I'm sure they did a little bit of preparation. So let's just check, we've got everything, every base covered. Yeah, I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got I'll to get I'll tell you what, let's do this off air then. Should we play a great, a great tune? Well, yeah. Well, people need to call in, don't they? Because we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. It'll be alright. And there's, there's good stuff. I've got a, a CDs, right? I've got, um, some compilation stuff and a couple of videos and that, so that's what they're playing for. Uh-huh. Um, Call up now, 08 700 800 1234. Get them on the air, we'll play the game. Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Is that oh, what we're doing? Bit of the cure. Just like heaven. Right. Oh. That's from that uh, Cure Greatest Hits uh, I'm gonna compilation. I'm going to have a heart attack. I you really get uh, am. an extra it's bonus CD on certain copies, and that's uh, an acoustic version of Just Like Heaven. Fantastic. He hasn't thought it through. I know. We've just right, spent we've three, of, three and a half minutes trying to figure out the rules yeah, of this game. Yeah, right. We've got it now. I'm sorry for people to call in. The, the lines are going mental. Right. So hold on, everybody. What we're going to do is we're going to do an ad break. We're just going to figure out how to play the game. Exactly. We're going to get two ads. people on there, and we're going to play it. So uh, XFM and that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. The adverts aren't working today and I don't- I'll have to get an engineer in as well. Wait, so that's don't play the adverts. I don't want to play them anyway. Don't play them. It's not our fault if it doesn't work. It's- uh, Why? Do you realise if we were like live, we'd be heckled off the stage? <laughs> right, we, we, don't play the adverts. We no, wouldn't survive in the real I'll world. I'll sort that out. Right. right, right, get the people on the air now. Just c No, c c oh. Rick, calm down. Play a record then! Do something for Christ's sake! Okay, I'm- Brilliant, Pulp. Good news and bad news. Bad news is we have got enough callers to play Carl's game. Okay. The good news is we don't have to play any more adverts yeah. in this show. So, uh, if it doesn't work, sod it. Right, who have you got on the line, Carl? Sam. Now, let's just remind ourselves, what's the game? It's Rockbusters. Okay, now calm down, Carl. I know you're a bit stressed, you've got a lot to do, but don't worry, you've just had a holiday. Throw this desk out. Just throw- let's throw it out and start again. Rick, don't get stressed. Go on then. People, it, people wouldn't think it was us if this show wasn't, you know, half-baked and <laughs> ill-formed and, and generally shoddy. That's right. what they've grown to love. <laughs> okay. All right. Sam? Hello. Is it sounding all right today? It is. It's just about. All right. Cheers. That is worse. <laughs> right, then. Good. Well, and, uh, so we've got Sam on the line. <laughs> Who else have we got there? So we've got, so we've got Tim as well, haven't we? Hello. All right, Tim. Tim yeah, and Sam. Right, you, okay. you sound quite similar, lads. Could one of you affect an accent or something? Um... Which one's Tim? Yeah, it's me. Okay, which one's Sam? It's Sam. That's slightly deeper, slightly deeper. Yeah, yeah. And they're not okay. against the clock anyway, are they? So it doesn't really matter. I suppose not. So... No, I think Steve just wanted a bit of variety. Yeah. You, uh... <laughs> okay. You, you understand the rule, lads. <laughs> Can you explain them to us? <laughs> <laughs> right, play it. Okay, right, hang on, wait, 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 wait,
Carl's gonna read out, um, uh, say three clues, yeah? And, um, just, just shout your own name and answer it, or shout the answer. Shout your own name, then the answer, if you know, and it's the person who gets the most right. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um... Here we go, then. Okay, then. So, so, so shouldn't it be the first to three? <laughs> well, yeah, but then yeah. he yeah. hasn't got... Yeah, he's he's got, got, got I've got enough, it's fine. He's got enough food for that. Mm. Right, then, here we go. Welcome oh. to the show. Uh, oh, God. Right, uh, <laughs> the first initials, S, T, right? Is that right? S well, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, do we? How do we know? Here we go. S, T, and the cryptic clue is better than the average homeless person. Okay? Sorry, I, th I think, is that a band? Yeah. Is it an old band? Yeah. I think that's one word. All right, then, S. S, it's an old 70s band. Uh, better than the average homeless Tim. person. Tim? Go on. Super Tramp. Super yes. Tramp well it is. Yeah. Well yeah. done. One point well, to you, Tim. I have no idea why that's right, by the way. You don't know, you don't understand why it's a right? Soup, he's a super tramp. Oh, right. Better okay. than the average oh, homeless cryptic, person. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, cryptic. Yeah. Okay, second one. Come on, Sam, you've got a- That's actually yeah. quite good for Carl. Trust me, Tim, that's, I mean, take that, take that as a good clue. Cos, <laughs> yeah, okay. We won't do this again. <laughs> Why, right, one nil to Tim? Right, here we go. Right. F. The letter is F. That's the next one we're moving on to. And the cryptic clue is, the little girl is hungry, what shall we do? The S or F? I've F. got it. F. 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 Freddy. Sam. Peter. Yes, one all. Feed her. He's pulled out. Feed of her. <laughs> yeah. Feed her. Okay. Yeah. So that's one each. So this is the decider, isn't it? Wait a minute. I can hear on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said first to three, so no, it's not, is it? That's what I said. Just do the three clues. Yeah. And who gets the most? Okay. Well, we can do that now. So <laughs> here we go. I love this. This is rubbish. Go on. So here's 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 the last one. The initials are A K, right? And the cryptic clue is exploding pet. Say, shout out your name if you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Last order at the bar, please. Last order at the bar. <laughs> exploding pet. A K. You're tuned to XFM 104.9, Carl Perkinson's Queens, Rockbusters. The format is still available. <laughs> the highest bidder, please give us a call or you can email ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is it a band or a singer? It's, I'll give you a bit more of a clue. It's, it's a, a pop band. Okay, we, we wouldn't no, have it. It's on the kitten. Excellent. Yes! Oh. oh. This is amazing radio. Oh. So who was that that won? That was Sam who won. So it's 2-1 to Sam, so he wins. What does he win, Carl? He wins some CDs and some videos. No, he's got a, and, uh, w uh, and, uh, obviously now, Sam, if you're ready, take the spot, you're gonna do the gold run. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, Carl. I haven't got any more. You're a fool. Right, right, stay on the line, we're giving both some presents. Play a record for- I just... Rick, I'm gonna shoot off. <laughs> Not come! <laughs> Feeder, come back around. He's getting all stressed again. You know we've only done an hour. I know. It's. I'll tell you what. This you know seems there's like another free. hour to go. I know. I, can't, I don't know what it seems like to the, you know, the listeners. <laughs> I say. I'll tell listeners. you this. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Carl, but I think maybe someone else should come in and press the buttons. Because I'm not sure you're across it. I don't think you can concentrate on talking and working at the same time. I'm not walking, sure you can- Walking, yeah, and I, eating. It, for you, it seems as a oh, bit no, like- Oh, no, don't say that. Look, he's gutted. No, it, there, there's a lot of gone wrong here. I say, I say, throw this desk out and get a real one. Seriously. Well, I think there's a, Vish there's a Fisher Price one you can buy in uh, well, Argos that might be Yeah, no, but yeah, it. we got there. We were stunned because it was second hand, this one. But, um, uh, this is like the mere space station. I mean, it really is falling apart. Get a new one in. Let's not, you know, oh. I can't believe it. Get the. I mean, look at the. Look at that. Look at the library. Look gap. Look at the gaps in yeah. the library. Let's not go on about this because this isn't. This isn't good. <sighs> what? Whereas that quiz was. <laughs> <laughs> whereas that was good radio. But you can join in and stuff. But the problem is, Carl. You why did you rush to do it? We, I told you before we should practice these things. That's Although how to it's be done. fair, Steve, I can't. I haven't got time to do anything. So at least Carl's coming up with stuff. But I don't mind, you know, running what through with it while got? you're having a kip outside. Really? What other ideas have you got? Have you got any other ideas, Carl? Because we're really- you've got another hour of it. Have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, uh, I've got that feature educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right? Do you know the- do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita? Yeah. I see well, what you've done. I see what you've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. 
Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know, like, how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in with topics every week, and this week I've got, uh, Hang Ghosts. No, Hanging Bacon is one of the topics. Say that again? Hanging Bacon. Hanging Bacon? All, all the titles- Francis Bacon? <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make- sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging Bacon? Well, you've right. certainly just intrigued- Go on, what's the another title one? Uh, Hairy Chinese Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. going for that one. If, I, there I mean, was a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title, yeah, no, I'm going to go for hairy Chinese kids. And I think. the final one, yeah. a Alien gives man a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I Alien gives man a beer. I am gonna burst. Right, listen, Carl, you've got to tell me. Right, to first, right, let's do it in reverse. No, we're order. not. We're not gonna do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. But I mean, that's this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour. Okay, the listeners have just uh, been subjected to rubbish and oh, and mistakes and everything for the last six months. Please, we've got to do. Alien gives man a beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um. Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? <laughs> well, this feature is you telling me something. I'm teaching you something. Educating Ricky. Right. So, are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? There's no point, because look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away, so I'm not wasting any time making stuff. Right. If you don't like well, okay, it. let's play- let's play Educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go- Right. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Educating Ricky. Right, what are we going for then? Hanging the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. Alien gives man a beard. I think Alien gives man a beard. I'd like to do that. Right, there's this fellow, I think it happened in America. Uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. And, uh- God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has. <laughs> you sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light, and I, gr I, I got back in the car and I grew a beard and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is- He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> Ah! The, the UFO had taken uh, him for three days, yeah. but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is, yeah, he yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um, right, oh. okay. D d I mean, was Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones anything to do with this at all? Did you, were you, did you see this on a video maybe and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again? Just, just again. I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk, what if he was lying? He got knocked unconscious. Mm. He would had a car crash. Just lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days. And that with was his, his excuse to his wife. And they went, "What are you gonna, what, Dennis? What are you gonna tell your wife?" <laughs> um, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, Les. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away from here because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, it, lo it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have. That's <laughs> exactly. right. Okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played. So out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learned from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learned so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no. Uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this. To this, what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right. Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're going to get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that. Do you know, like all their rules have a code. Uh, Carl, I, I, I g genuinely. Do not know what you're talking about. Right. Do you know like how here they might have- Do you know I what- I have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know like over <laughs> Rick, here- I'm listening to Capital and these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got- I got Foxy on. Yesterday. Uh, right, let's- let's bin that. 
No way, he's crazy. No, I, I want to hear about Airy Chinese Kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. And okay, let's come play a tune. Go back to Airy Chinese Kid. kid definitely. Some, some dolls. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Uh, take it back to the sixties. Uh, this is a tune that a friend of mine sent. If me. you touch a UFO, you get done. Soul Kitchen from the Doors. Shambles today. Like this. <laughs> David Bowie, slow burn, yeah. Quite a, quite a Eno trilogy yeah, feel about it, lodging yeah. sort of neutral? low type, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Enjoyable. Um, now, okay. That's stressful, isn't it? We've, I think we've got things working now. We've had people coming in and out, just shaking their head going, shouldn't have bought that desk. <laughs> but it's all sorted now, I think. And, uh, oh. I'm, you notice I'm, how it took, sorry. um, about what? 25 minutes for them to come down as well, though? Do you feel like we're maybe quite low in the pecking order in the building? Definitely. You know, it's like Capital First, Capital Gold. They can shoot off to other sort of pirate stations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People's yeah. car radios, yeah. then they come back yeah. here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I had a job at Richard Sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Light fitting was, um, buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, <laughs> but we've got, um, thanks for staying listening. Um, right, okay, educating Ricky. What have we got? Every Chinese kid, go on. Right, yeah. This is the, uh, I didn't want to do this. What really. do you mean you didn't want to do it? Well, I wanted to give you three and I, I, and I gave you one. It was like the alien man gets a beard or whatever. Yeah. And Which was total rubbish, so uh, this one should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing the. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not. There were some people that were born uh, very astute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson type mind. Right, well, this is like a sort of. Sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people. <laughs> aren't that hairy as a as a nation <laughs> no seriously that's that's a well known fact <laughs> oh my God. they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff okay. so this little kid who was born over there um he was like covered in stuff was he and it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it thick hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of uh, uh, like a pony's mane? So he just looked like an Ewok. You know what I mean? Just like hanging down, sort of straight dark well, hair. Looked, in the picture, it looked like uh, it grows from it his eyebrows. It grows from his eyebrows quite thick. And then it just goes all the way over. You don't think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? <laughs> No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just hanging everywhere. all over him. Yeah. And um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird happening uh, happening in China, mm. where, <laughs> where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> That was the scientist speaking <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. And the press, the local press and that were getting him down calling him monkey boy and all that. Oh. And, um, Thinking Chinese press. But the doctor- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they were cruel, aren't they? The it's doctor, like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's all that, yeah. And the doctor said, um, I was Carl talking through all that time where we were just like talking to each other then? Because I turned around and I still saw he was talking. Go so on. anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. and they were like being tight and taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said, uh... Driving him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> so, and he said everybody should just treat him the same and uh, I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the, uh... That's, that's the end of the story. That's not a story. Why? Well, I, but I've got nothing, I don't know what to say to that. So someone was, someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest, and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, uh, if it is, I've got a million. I mean, it, it's sort of like, bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean, that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right, then. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, he's got the big guns. You're not going to give us hanging bacon, are you? Yeah. <laughs> come on, then. Come on, then. Right, come on. The we come on. To. This, this is it. No, this is a good one. This is the one. And this is a story, right? Um, do you know the saying, uh, chewing the fat? <laughs> good one. It's one of my favourites. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what it means? Talking. Right. Well, do you know where it came from? No. Right, what they used to do years ago, 
when people didn't have much money. Is this the same as the ba throwing the baby out of the bathwater? No, it's not the well, it's not the same saying, but No, but I mean is it as wrong as uh, that was? Well, let me tell you, we'll go see. On. Okay. Um like people go out to work and with the money they'd buy food. Oh yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a good system. What what go on, what do you what do you, what do you mean? People go out to work and with the system. And if if you, if you were quite well off, you might treat your family to some bacon, right? But do you know, like in these days, if people earn a lot of money, they might buy a nice suit or, or a oh, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what, what are you saying? You're saying, wait, 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 let me get this straight. You're saying that it, you go out to work and get money to to buy things to to live, and if you get sort of enough money to live and you've got some left over, you might treat yourself on like a suit or a car or something. Is that yeah, what you're? Yeah. Oh, but back on. then, back then, if yeah. you earned money, they'd say, "This is olden times." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get some bacon in, right? <laughs> and what they'd do, they'd hang it in the kitchen. Or to show it off? To show it off right. to all the neighbours and friends. Because if you were, if you had hanging bacon, it was like, he's doing alright for himself. Yeah, yeah. that's a lovely bacon. So he had loads of bacon hanging up, and people would come round, right? And whilst they stood in the kitchen talking about whatever they are talking about- In olden times. They'd say, uh, do you want a bit of rind? And they'd, and they'd rip a little bit of rind off, and whilst they're having a- having a chit chat- Chewing the chew on the rind. Well I think that's probably true. And I haven't heard that, but that one to me sounds true. Do you see the difference between that one and- a man was abducted and grew a beard. Do, 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 can you see the difference in yeah, why I accept that different, story? Different stories for different things. <laughs> different stories for different things. <laughs> so, see, that's a nice, that's a nice story. If it's true, I don't know if it's true. I mean, but it seems totally possible, viable, quite interesting. I won't be quoting that myself until I've verified it. But that's, you know, I won't be telling anyone the bloke got in the car and he had a full face beard. <laughs> <laughs> Why has car been towed away? Because it was a quiet road. It was it? It wasn't in the way. <laughs> okay. Are okay. you filling in the blanks again? <laughs> that wasn't in the book, was it, that you read? <laughs> See, that's yeah. the thing, sometimes I think you make up bits of the story <laughs> as though they were a fact. That doesn't seem right. Well, that's all you can do, innit? <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's educating Ricky, will we? Brilliant. Do that next week. That is brilliant. No, I think Carl. that was good. I, I, I did, I mean, I enjoyed that. I learned something from that. I mean, well, just, just, um, I want to get a, I mean, this is all from one book, is it? Yeah. That's an interesting book. Um, with the, with the, I, I don't want to dwell on it, but with the, uh, with the hairy Chinese kid, what, what, what did they say about that? What did they, what was the, I mean, was it, once there was born a kid who was slightly more hairy than everyone else? But yeah, it's all right. He only had a boil. Oh, how did they word it? How did they? How did this capture your imagination? There was a well, picture. it was a picture that grabbed me first yeah. of all. Yeah. Sure. And uh, it was like, God, what, what's up with him? And that's when I read it. <laughs> did you see said, the boil in the XML or just the hair? No, you see, because his face is like just under his eyes is sort of nice and smooth, and his nose is sticking out, and uh, that's not hairy. But the rest of him, it looked like he had a sort of a balaclava on or something. <laughs> and then, and then I read on, and it's like this is a hairy kid in China. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Anything else in there? Because I mean, I like, I like that. No, I like we'll, we'll do more of that next week. How, how is that alongside um, hanging bacon, alien abduction, abduction, um, uh, a, a hairy Chinese kid, and uh, a little interesting? Fact about the derivation of a phrase. What do you mean? He didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the word derivation was going to cause problems. I thought derivation shouldn't have come out. <laughs> no, I'm not, I wasn't disputing. He's all, it's all smug because he's had a phone call. That was, um, Beck, Lost Cause. Go on, tell, tell him why you're all smug. Because Adrian just called up. Yeah. After hearing the story about the Chinese kid. Yeah. And he said, yeah, that's true. He said that there was a TV programme on it. Yeah. He had a, uh, a chromosome defect. Yeah. And it made him hairy. And his mum and dad used to have to shave him. That wasn't in the book. But, um, thinking about it, that's not a good move anyway, is it? Because they say that for women. If you get a few hairs on your top lip, don't shave it because it'll grow back thicker and faster. So right. they should just what let him. Be they should have just said, "Well, let's see how how bad it gets." But if they if they went in there straight away as a, if he came out as a baby and a little bit hairy, they should have left it <laughs> for a little bit. But Adrian called up and said, um, "Yeah, he was hairy. He was yeah, all right." We weren't disputing there was a, 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 a Chinese kid born slightly hairy than the rest. We were disputing the fact that you didn't actually tell us a story. You and, just told us. A and what we are disputing effect. is that that man was abducted by his for three days and grew a beard. Yeah. That's definitely not true. <laughs> No. We don't know about chewing the fat, but it sounds quite viable.
Yeah. You see, the difference is between me and Steve and you is that uh, what we believe isn't random. Do you know what I mean? It's not random. The things we, that we don't believe stuff just because it's interesting. It's not every other thing we believe and every other thing we don't. We well, sort I of think like Carl believes stuff if it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, if he thinks, oh, intriguing. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said to me on the um, w before you got a minute, he said uh, that Ollie's record. <laughs> Ian Evie's my brother. What's that about then? And I went, oh, I don't know. I, I, I heard, um, it was about someone who had a disabled brother and, um, he was lifting him in and out of a car or something and someone said, oh, do you want a hand? And he went, no, yeah, he's not heavy. He's my brother. I.e., mm -hmm. this isn't a burden for me. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Carl, what did you say? Uh, I, I'd say... No, I'll tell you what he said. He went, that's ridiculous. He was still heavy. <laughs> and he said, don't turn down help. <laughs> Which, we were talking about that because a new feature we're starting about this time every week. Oh yeah. Uh, Are we start about this time every week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll do, um, that song's got a good story. Okay. Yeah, love it, love it, snappy. Go on, go <laughs> on, and, um, go on. there's loads of songs out there, isn't there, with, uh, with songs that you couldn't fade out. When you hear them on the radio and that, you don't want anyone to talk over the start or the end. Uh, yeah. Because oh, it's but remember we did this one before with, um, Killing a Georgie by, um, Rod Stewart. Yep. And I was a bit worried that it might have been a true story because mm. we were, you know, joking about it. And, uh, he went, oh, you know that Killing a Georgie? He went, I think it is a true story. I went, why? He went, I listened to it again and Rod Stewart at the beginning says, this is a, uh, one of my best friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's genius. So there's loads of songs out of there, and what I want to do, we want to get the audience involved in this. So mm. if you've got like a favourite song that's got a really if good, if you've song, got an audience, <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, and the email in Ricky at uk and they say what the song is now. What would examples be then? Examples, ones that jump to mind straight away for me, Elvis. In the ghetto. Yeah, good one. Brilliant. Andrew Gold, Lonely Boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't know that one. Eminem, Stan. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good one. You couldn't fade it out, could you, because you go, well, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's, that's what I'm saying. Not just any sort of pop song that keeps repeating itself and, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it skips or, you know what I mean, if you turn the radio off. Yeah. But I'm talking Ernie, about songs. the fastest milk <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is a good story. That is a good story. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that one? Yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's a story, yeah. Ted from Teddington, he drove the baker's van. Well, oh. uh, so what, what have we got then? Have we got one? So we're gonna kick on? it off today with, uh, Stevie Wonder, Living Just Enough for the City. Okay. And, uh, just, just briefly. Sum it up. Right, yeah. if you haven't, if you, if, if you are nipping out, maybe you're in the car and you're about to pull up somewhere and get out, what it's all about is, is a lad who's, who's growing up in, like, America in some rough area, right? And, uh, he's trying his best to do well and get a job and everything, but because of where he's from, he's stopping him doing that, right? It's like how I grew up on an estate in Manchester, mm. I had to leave there and come to London to mm. do all right for myself, yeah. right? Uh, and it's his whole family and it's a tale of like, how like his, how his mum works dead hard and works loads of hours, but the kids are always well dressed and cleaned. It doesn't mean just because you haven't got a good job you let your house run down, yeah. do you know what I mean? She's looking after it. The, the sister, you know, she hasn't got new clothes, but they're always clean, and her knees are clean, I think it says in one point. Excellent. <laughs> 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 clean uh, knees, always so, important. So will we give it a listen, let, let it Brilliant, it's a well, great I don't track. think Stevie can do it justice. <laughs> 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 After that explanation. <laughs> right, so... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not sure oh, he's going to top that. like, some sort of, like, backing tune to try and, uh, <laughs> Try and pep it up a bit, because yeah. you have really knocked it so, the socks off so it. Brilliant. I'm, I'm looking forward right, to the clean knees. <laughs> it's a new feature. Uh, what is it called again? The, the story in that song's really good. Here's Stevie Wonder. Morning, Carl. Back announce that. It's your, it's your choice, that. Right, songs with good stories that you can't fade out. Yeah. Uh, Although you can heavily edit them. For yeah, them. I noticed you didn't, you, you didn't play the, uh, the full version, which has no, obviously got the complete story in. You've, um, you've just played a, uh... I haven't heard the other That's all version. I know. Well, in the album version, uh, he, he gets goes abducted. To jail. He gets abducted as well, and he comes back with a big beard. Yeah, and he's no. covered in hair. No, yeah. he goes, he gets, uh, arrested and goes to jail. But, uh, it's, he's, it's just, you know, it's just because he gets picked up because he's black and he hasn't done anything wrong. There's a whole other, there's a whole other sort one. of section. Maybe we should change this section. No, what we'll do, 
Right. Abridged versions of songs. Uh, yeah. No, next week we'll play the second bit and it'll be like, uh, like Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9. Well, it's been a good show, hasn't it? There's been sort of like a, quite a rock and roll 70s feel to it, mainly the equipment. Um, but, uh, we got through it. Carl's been telling us some great insights into his, his mind, mm. really. We've had a few laughs, a few tears. A bit stressful. What were you telling me in the week about when you went to visit your dad in hospital? Oh, we're talking about, um... Yeah, me, me, when I got back off holiday, my dad was was in hospital. I shot back to see him, see how he's getting on. And uh, hospitals are depressing places, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Really, like, phew, God, you know, they, 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 you know, if, even if you're not that ill, it makes you feel worse. Yeah, because it's really like it drags you down. These people walking around moaning, and, you know. You mainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, nurses. And uh, yeah. My dad Ooh, was like, yeah, it's a <laughs> high five, no, satire. satire. Yeah. yeah, I would like to be the man that get paid enough and all that, and I oh. do like. No, well, that's Tony Blair, I mean. are you listening? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look like I'm moaning about the people working because they all work really hard. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. yeah, but it's just hard, hard, depressing places. High five, nice one, Go nice on. one. Yeah. Right, so um, so I'm sat there, and my dad's uh, getting fed up, and uh, <laughs> is that because you're visiting? <laughs> Just, just, he's quite an active bloke, yeah. and all of a sudden he's got to stay in bed and, yeah. you know, it's like sit down, stop moving about and all this. Mm -hmm. So, um, so he sat there, and there's an old woman in the bed next door, right? And, uh, she's, I mean, she's in, she's in a bad way anyway. Yeah. Right. She must have been, she looked about, I'd say she looked about 98 or something like that. Okay, good. Right. Now, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she was always constantly moaning, and you could see that the nurses were trying their best to keep her happy, and she wasn't having any of it. And, uh, you know, it, she was moaning because her hands had gone blue. <laughs> well, that is a worry, to be honest. Well, it's not, because she's 98. Does that what happens? But why, why doesn't the doctor, if I was a doctor, and I'm not one, but, no, uh, no, Carl, don't be modest. Are you a doctor? Yes or no? But if I, I was think there, he's let it slip. Are you, Carl? Are you a doctor? No, listen. Look me in the eye. Right. Yeah. right so Carl. this woman had blue hands. Had she, she had, seen um, she, a spacecraft? She, she, <laughs> right. <laughs> so <laughs> go on. she had blue hands. Now she's ninety-eight. If I was a doctor, I'd no, be she's not ninety-eight. You said you said earlier on she looked about ninety-eight. So you're making that up? <laughs> it's just shifted from speculation to fact. <laughs> That's blue fact now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's ninety-eight. <laughs> Now? Yeah. There's a hundred year old woman. Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. If I was a doctor, I'd be thinking. You're not, are you? You <laughs> yeah, honestly think how did I con them? <laughs> I'd, how did I get away with this? I'd be thinking. <laughs> right. She's 98. Um, she hasn't got long left. Why not just let her be at home and be happy in with her own in her own yeah. space? Yeah. Um, you know, and let her, let her have a, a nice life, whatever's left. Because, because she may hurt herself, she may have falls, some people have to go in there for their own protection, she might not have immediate more family. Than that, she may not have been dragged in against her will. No, She no. may have come to hospital because she was worried yeah. about her blue hands. Yeah. Yeah, but I, when I was talking to Ricky, he said, oh, what it would have been is, uh, Probably a bit of, did you say it's rheumatism or something? No, I said, my, I mean, the, a blueness can be through uh, lack of circulation. But. Right. So, just. And so I'm definitely got, not a doctor. You've got, you've got blue hands, bad circulation, we're gonna send you home, we'll give you a Rubik's Cube. Um, play around with that with your hands, get, get the blood- <laughs> the Rubik's Cube! Yeah. Get, get the blood pumping. Yeah. Um, and don't worry, I don't say, oh, it's really bad, just think she's 98. Yeah. Let her have a nice rest of the life. Yeah. But instead, she was there, and the annoying thing was, and they do this with a lot of people in hospital, they pump you with drugs, uh -huh. try to sort it out. They don't, you know, there's probably a bit of guesswork going on. Maybe. A little well, not, bit. Not as much as <laughs> you, but go on. Right? And because of that, they sort of break wind a lot. So I'm sat there with my dad talking. Whoa, 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 drugs whoa, whoa. do that, Steve. <laughs> I'm sure if there's a doctor listening or a nurse, they will clarify <laughs> right. that if they pump you with all sorts of stuff, um, <laughs> it wants to come out. <laughs> right. So you're sat there having a serious chat. It's a quiet hospital. <laughs> the woman next door with the blue hands suddenly starts seeping gas, right? <laughs> well, I start laughing. Because <laughs> if there's one thing that makes you laugh, 
It's like it's a, a, it's a 98 year old woman with blue eyes. Fine. So you try to hold it in because it's a really quiet hospital, and it's, it'd be obvious that we were, uh, that I was laughing at, her and I, I didn't want to be mean, but no. it was funny. And then it got me t talking about my auntie because my auntie Nora, um, she, uh, she same thing, pumped her with loads of drugs. She used to a, a, a cabinet next to the bed is like boots. She's got <laughs> loads of stuff, right, for all sorts of stuff. And uh, I mean, she's not that old, but she's on loads of stuff, right? She's and a bit coked up if she's she, smoked. Uh, she called up my mum once, and, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you told us this, go on, tell it again. And, uh, she said, oh, how are you doing and that? It's all right. Uh, bit worried though, my mum said, wow, what's up? She said, I've, uh, been breaking wind. So she goes, well, you know. She says, no, but this one is going on and on and on. And she was like, <laughs> she was, she was like, what, 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 what do you say was? Like, passing wind, farting, for five minutes. <laughs> one, one thing. Not like, you know, trumping and then nothing. Yeah. Continuous. Continuous drone of a fart. Yeah. I don't think she had- how big was she? She must be the size of a barn. No, she's not that big. She's, you know, she's good for age. No, quite but I mean- that. Quite swim. No, it's but just... fine for five minutes. Uh, where's all the guy- was she circular breathing? Was she sucking it in with her mouth? It was just- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it. But she called up me mum. About two and a half minutes in. Could you hear <laughs> it in the background? <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, she called me mum up, <laughs> and it went it went on for a further two and a half minutes. Oh, and she just stayed on the phone, did she? Where was phone the, going? Well, can you hear that? Well, <laughs> yeah. did she <laughs> hold the phone next to her ass? <laughs> Listen to she that. Was, she was off the I'm ground, trying to work a tune down. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was actually hovering. She was four yeah. foot off the ground yeah. when they found her. The ambulance yeah. men. <laughs> the cat's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light a match! <laughs> Don't light that cigarette! <laughs> yeah, it's like that advert. The kids come home from school, switch on the lights. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there they see Granny yeah. hovering, <laughs> turn the light on. <laughs> Be careful if you have an elderly woman at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drugs so, make you fart. So that's that's what I'm saying, you know, just let these people... Well, what are you saying? No, wait a minute, what are you saying? I'm saying let people enjoy the life they've got left. No, you're not. You're saying don't put them in hospital, leave them at home to die. No, I'm not. Give them a Rubik's Cube right. and let them die. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you something now, right, <laughs> Steve? Right. I'll tell you something. I didn't want to do it because it bring the show down, but she did die. Who, the blue-handed lady? Yeah. How do you know? Because I said to me dad, how's the, uh... Woman next door. She, said, oh, she went. She went last night. They've got an old fella in there now. God. So there you go. So wouldn't it have been better to leave her at home, where a friends and family can call and speak to her, even nip that round if they want, you know, with a cat? I, think, I imagine. <laughs> no, it's definitely a cat now. What was uh, that cat's called? Do you imagine? Probably. I'm seeing like a big ginger one. So I don't know. Something <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe ginger or whatever. <laughs> um, maybe I'd a budgie. But that's what I'm saying. Just let him enjoy his life. Because dying in hospital, I wouldn't like to do it. If if I went to the doctors and they said you've got long life left, I'd say, well, I'll, I'll stay at home. Yeah. And that's that's the point I'm getting at. Yeah. Right. If you can't do anything for them, let them enjoy the life. Yeah. A Rubik's cube. <laughs> right. Well. Um. Good. It backfired. Now. Uh. Let's play. The second uh, of the Rolling Stones, tr tr I'm gonna try and do this every week, it's a feature called Two Lazy to Go and Get Another Album. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about a classic bit of rock and roll? Yeah? I'd love to hear Brown it. Brown Sugar. <laughs> wow. Stones. Brown Sugar. Um, Steve thinks I can't tell you what this is about because it's too rude for radio. Um, but you've done it again, haven't you? You've said another call, haven't you? Yeah, just that uh, drugs do make you have wind, morphine, especially. Uh, especially. That's that's the uh, the bad one to have. And that was from a medical student, wasn't it? Yeah. Up in Leeds, yeah. so cheers for that. Haven't had any calls about the alien abduction, funnily <laughs> enough. <laughs> no clarification on that no, so far. No. Keep you posted, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if anything happens, we will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. We got through it with all these mistakes. They've got to get this equipment fixed and get. They've got to go to HMV Monday and buy about. I'd say five to ten thousand pounds worth of new albums. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Be good get this week. fixed. No, get this yeah, fixed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go on about that. Next week, though, we'll have more educating. That's Ricky. the phone. Look, that's yeah, the phone. Yeah, don't do that. What? Educating Ricky. We'll do the quiz. Rock busters. Do that again. <laughs> right. Yeah. I might not songs. be here. <laughs> If that's the case. Uh, Steve. What? What have you got? 
<laughs> what, next week? No. No. I'm just trying. gonna bring some sandwiches. I, do, you, do you notice I was quite quiet for the last 20 minutes? Yeah. Just dozed off. Yeah, well, the air conditioning's, um, <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling quite muggy. It's too, but that's, that, that doesn't work either. And this is, uh, I'm totally serious, I'm not joking for the, <sighs> it's, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, <laughs> right, a song for the ladies to end with as ever. Uh, Sly and the Family Stone is always a favourite. Yes. If you want me to stay. Yeah. Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Hello. Carl Pilkerson, and everything. <laughs> no, I'm going to be honest with you. Go on. A little bit hungover. Yeah. Don't feel very well. Yeah. I don't know if I'm hungover or still a bit drunk. But I don't feel. You sound like you're still a bit drunk. Yeah. So what I'm worried about. You do every week. So. But uh, what I'm worried about is that the standard will slip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I'm not right on the ball. Um, and uh, the other thing is, I haven't had a, a lot of time to prepare the show today, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. And I and I, I don't really, I, I don't feel, you know, 100. percent Yeah, I haven't done the call. <sighs> right. Look, have you finished that sentence? <laughs> <laughs> I don't make me laugh because it, it hurts as well. Sure. And uh, the other, the other. There's another side effect to me being a little bit hungover and, and um, or, or drunk or whatever, is that I can be annoying. Right, yes, yes. Because I, just to amuse myself, I sort of like turn my body off a little bit and just poke and ah, uh, like that and annoy people and that. I want to, mm. I want to sort of like Well, climb. you do the physical equivalent of freewheeling. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. You? You just I, let sort of, uh, I sort of want to climb on Carl and go to sleep on him. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. They, they, they both annoy him and it'd be comfortable. Yes. yes. Which is... Uh, you know, it can be annoying. Uh, uh, quick, just a little thing just to make this show a bit easier. If you'd put your hand up when you went, want one of us to speak, because it's not quite, I'm not quite sure when, um, when the sentences are finished. The hands are up. Okay, good. So, um. The hands are up. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Are you going to just keep up the rest of the show or? No. Uh -huh. that, like, uh, Carl, do what you've, what you. <sighs> <laughs> Good. All right. Well, do you want to? I mean, is there an excuse as to why you're a bit hungover? Too much drunk? wine. Okay. All right. Last night. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Thanks okay. Because this is the only. I mean, this is the only work you've got to do all week, <laughs> <laughs> unless I'm very much mistaken. You don't have to do anything. You just sit at home eating eating cheese. Yeah. Um. And yeah. then occasionally you do a bit of sort of shadow boxing, <laughs> and that's exercise. <laughs> and then you sit out uh, and watch TV. Yeah. Is that roughly what you did this week? Yeah. Uh huh. So this is the only two hours you had to do anything for all week. This is the only you had to prepare for. Yeah, this. but the, who, who can plan a hangover? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, you'd think, uh, Carl, you said you had some stuff. Yeah. What have you got? <laughs> yeah, I, Can't I, I, love, I love the fact that whereas I was a little bit slow, Carl there leapt into action <laughs> to keep this show afloat, keep the pace up. Go on. Right, well, uh, <laughs> Carl, are you hungover as well? Or? <laughs> I'm, j I'm just a bit annoyed because I'm with you. Do you know sure. what I mean? He yeah. hasn't got much to do all week. You're having a laugh. What? What angers me is that I, I kind of hope that maybe I could have quite a long career in radio and I sort of feel like I'm, <laughs> I don't know, the word sinking ship. <laughs> yeah. Those words spring to mind. But. Cause it feels like, I mean, Carl, you're, you're just a chancer anyway. You weren't even supposed to be on air and you, we've made you into something of a household name and that's cool. Household name. And Ricky's already a celebrity. He's got it stitched up. He's got corporates. He's got, yeah. you know, voiceover work. But I've got nothing. I'm running on empty. I got, I, you know, yeah. I'm not, I, nothing. I've got nothing. I'm sort of dependent a bit on this. Yeah. Financially. And Go on, then. What and are you, you two are sort of bringing it down, really. Right. Do you reckon Carl. I can get my own show, Carl? Carl. <laughs> Carl. Tell them what I did out there with a bit. No, Carl. Carl, tell them how funny I was out there with a bit in that a minute ago. So anyway, right, come Carl, on, right? I'm bored of this. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> will we, will we tease them with what we've got coming up next? Yeah, Carl, yeah, tease us after the next Because I think we've already got them for yeah. two hours. Yeah, we've hooked, <laughs> we've hooked them, Carl. Don't worry, this is textbook radio. Is it, what's this? Badly drawn boy. Yeah. Badly drawn boy. You were right. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl, you were saying what's coming up? Right, over the next two hours then, last week, uh, <sighs> was a bit of a mess. Don't be silly. So I've sorted it out. Uh, we'll be doing the same features. Right. <laughs> we've got, uh, I think that was the reason it was a mess, <laughs> if I was. Well, yeah. uh, we've You've tightened it, you tightened it, you tightened, tightened, it tightened the ship. Tightened it up, and okay. also keeping people for longer. Okay. Right, so tell me, tell me your plans. What, what, what have you come up tell with? Tell me your ethos behind this then. Right. Right. Always show your workings, Carl. Always show your workings, Carl. All right then. So, last week we started good sort of play on words that we had going. Go on. Um, the well-known film educating Rita. 
Yeah. <laughs> right, that's become, <laughs> thanks to Carl Pilkington's brain, it's become- I've tweaked it a bit and now yeah. it's educating Ricky. Brilliant. Right? And that was a new feature we started last week, if you weren't listening, where I teach Ricky stuff. What did you teach me? Uh, taught, taught you about that little Chinese hairy kid. Yeah, you yeah. didn't teach me anything. You said there was a kid that was born that was slightly hairy and other Chinese people. I taught you where the saying chewing the fat came from. I enjoyed that. That was good. That, that was, was interesting. Good. And, uh... <sighs> And a man who had a beard because he was man, being abducted uh, for three yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, that was rubbish. <laughs> lest, that did, that, lest we forget. That taught me more about you than about alien abduction. But what happened last week is, go on. Uh, we sort of talked about it all in one go. And you can't. Where is this? Where you've done what? You've spread it out <laughs> over the show. Well, I spread it across the two hours because I always found that if you try to be taught too much in one go, you just can't take it in and it'll be wasted. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your experience of school? <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> they taught you in three minute bursts. Yeah, yeah and, and not every day. Yeah. Every other When month. you felt like it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's what we're gonna do, right? Uh, so also, we've got educating Ricky coming up. That's educating explain, Ricky huh? across the two hours. Okay, look, and, and what I do is, I've made little headlines again, and you decide which story you want to go for first. Well, give me the first yeah. headline. No, 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 not yet. We'll do that Well, in a give bit. me a teaser. Hang on a minute, I'm telling you what else. Oh, right? yeah. We've I'm also got, that. we've also got, we started it last week, yeah. rock, rock Busters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was a triumph. Yeah. yeah. I think we went wrong there. Why? By letting you do it? Doing it on air? Uh, not thinking it through. Yeah. Bit of that. Okay, so what's the rules on Rockbusters? We're gonna do Rockbusters, okay. but, but you email in ricky.gervais.xfm.co.uk when you know the answers, okay. right? And sort of round near the end of the show, right, yep. we'll give out the answers then. So if they think they know the answers, they've got to hang about. Rick, I should tell you now, um, I'm don't not, think- I'm, I'm not hanging about. <laughs> 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 don't think that, um, don't think that the listeners are gonna go away empty handed uh, because there's I, some I was about that. I was right about that. <laughs> I can tell you where, like, don't worry because, um, Carl has sorted out some top quality prizes. Good, good. Um, first up, this is stuff that people can win, and yeah. be excited about this. First up, it's a DVD of The Office. I don't oh. know how he got hold of it. I don't know how he got hold of it. Go Because they are like gold dust. Yeah, yeah. There's, um, this is the second gift. Now, bear in mind, this is, I, I don't know where he's rummaged he's that from. This is an XFM compilation album. Oh, He's managed yeah. to sort that out somehow. Excellent. I don't know how he's sorted that out. Yeah. There's another compilation album which has got uh, some sort of uh, indie type hits of yeah. these. But this oh, is but possibly- Have you got a film to give away? Well, I'm glad you asked. What film though? Cause I know you're a big fan of DVDs. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. big yeah. hot releases that everyone's <laughs> keen to get their hands yeah. on. Not <laughs> arbitrary, is it? It's not the only one that- this, this film title will not be an arbitrary film, will it? It'll be a big- Rick, I don't want you thinking that the film that Carl has sorted out here is that he's sourced for us. It's just an arbitrary thing that Go you- on. that you wouldn't get- you could buy for three ninety nine <laughs> in HMV. Yeah. Right, they're giving these away. With those big baskets. Exactly. I don't know who is phoning up to try and win this, okay. but you can be, uh, lucky If this winning. is your favourite film, it's yours. Exactly. Okay. Um, but this is, yeah, this is the big, um, the big star prize. What this is, is the it? one you're all playing for. It's Children of the Corn. <laughs> Stephen King's Children of the Corn. It's a widescreen, a widescreen presentation on DVD. Uh, imagine getting that and going, excellent. <laughs> we can watch this now. But Rick, I mean, t uh, let me just run through some of the cast. Peter Horton. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Horan's in it, and, uh, uh, and that's uh, about I, it. I'll tell you what, I don't want to give it away if Hort is in it. <laughs> exactly. I'd love to see his before the game. Uh, also, he, Linda Hamilton, I know you're all- Linda you're all Hamilton, she, of, she of plays, Hamilton. she plays a uh, piece of corn. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, um, I don't know what, I don't, I've not seen Children of the Corn, I could be wrong, but, yeah. um, yeah. it but says, great. uh, it, it's, Carl, it's when you're rooting around the office, why don't you just like throw <laughs> like a mouse mat and a pair of scissors and a pencil? Cause that yeah. is just arbitrary. That's that. an arbitrary selection That's, that's next week's stuff. <laughs> but, uh, right. but also, I should say, we also have some, uh, this is a little bit more exciting, we've also got some tickets for, uh, DJ Shadow, yeah. who's performing at the Brixton Academy this he's evening. Good, he's good uh, at DJing. So he's very good at DJing and plays scratching all the, and the Plays like. all the records that you want. <laughs> exactly. Plays all the records that you want. Don't, don't, uh, don't bring your own, he's got them all. He's <laughs> yeah. got them all. He's, I've seen him arrive, he's got two big bags of them. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's three pairs oh, of, uh, DJ it. Shadow tickets, we'll give those away later as well. Is there don't, any just, lemonade? don't just start phoning arbitrarily now. No. We'll give those away in our own time. <laughs> Sorry? I need some lemonade. Okay, well while we sort out some lemonade, let's play a tune. <laughs> oh. Come on, Carl, don't watch me! Whoa, Carl! Ryan Adams from uh, his new album, Demolition. A track called Nuclear. Yeah. I just, I just, um, found a new way of making it more exciting. When, it, when you're talking about something, I go, yeah, brilliant, <laughs> agreeing with you. Okay. Making it all interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can see that, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's a really good album, that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Brilliant. it's apparently just a collection of sort of demos and songs he had lying around. Oh, I wish, 
I had that. Yeah. Um, you know we're giving away those DVDs and Children the of the Court. about Children of the Court. I've got an interesting anecdote about, um, the, uh, the office. Carl, we, we, me and Carl went out, right? Um, and, uh, um, with, um, me and Jane and Carl and Johnny and Gigi, wasn't it? Carl, no, I'm talking no. to you. Wasn't it? No. Wasn't- uh, Gigi wasn't. Is it important to win? No. Okay. But we're walking down the street. Carl was there though and you can back me up on this. Um, we had a curry. We were walking back and, uh, this little funny homeless fella, didn't he? Mm. He, uh, oh, I got to tell it before, before I go, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 he came up to me, right? And he recognised me. Uh, 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 talking's more difficult than you think, right? Um, and he came up to me and he went, he went, oh, he said, I've just nicked five of your DVDs from HMB. <laughs> and he shook my hand. He was so happy with it. And I went, right, excellent. He went, all I do is I just swing the bag over the top. <laughs> Like that, when, <laughs> when I'm going out. And he had a bag full of DVDs, didn't he? And what? he was, he was so pleased to tell me that he'd stolen <laughs> that great. He said that, he said they're going like hot cakes. <laughs> yeah, he said they're going like, of course they are! Yeah, <laughs> you're nicking them. Yeah. I know, we get paid yeah. for them though, don't we? So we, not the stolen ones. Don't we? No. What do you mean? Did you sign them for him? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were, you idiot. <laughs> what, so, um, he just nicked five- Yeah. Well, yeah. you say he was homeless, was he? Well, I, I, I d <laughs> don't know, maybe. No. Surely, how would he have seen the show? He would just walked past Curry's one, one morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Teddy idea. Seen a trailer for it, I thought, hmm, interesting. I don't know if he was homeless, I didn't, I didn't go into his home sure. life. He shook his hand, though, and- But he's- he, he made Carl look smart, do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> but he wasn't, he wasn't Northern, was he? No, he was like, um, do you know in the, in the fast show with Paul Whitehouse when he did that character, that shady character? Yes. The spit of that, you know, like a ponytail, t-shirt on, a bit too big for him, and just the movement and everything really like a, you know, a cockney little cheeky chap type yeah, person. Yeah, a little cockney cheeky chap. And, uh, yeah, he just said, oh, he said, oh, it's you. He said, uh, yeah. you got your DVDs, got six of them from HMV, going like hot cakes they are. And then off he went whistling. Yeah. Well chuffed with himself. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Going like hotcakes. What, what, what's he gonna do with them then? Probably sell them. Yeah. How does he s sell them? Where does he sell them? Does he go up to people and go, do you want an office DVD? They're not nicked. <laughs> yeah, four quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Are these stolen? No. No, 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 no. They've still got the tags on them. Well, yeah. it's like those people who, um, you know, those cab drivers that you'll meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car. Yeah. And just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, I'll, I'll, I'll pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once, I said to him, uh, the guy just pulled up, I said, uh, he said, I was in like, uh, East London, I'm going back to, uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to, uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off. He went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no. I thought, I thought you'd know the way. You're in a cabbie on. He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't. I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're gonna go out just on the, you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't have yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, right, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. About five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> I thought you knew the way to Camden. I don't really know the way. I thought you Oh. It was loot. I mean, let that, me out. You know, Four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's, I, I can't, I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think it's three in the morning. I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Wow. Yeah. Because your dad was a cabbie, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was a prefer- he wasn't like a chancellor. Though. Black what was- Black what was he- what was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a- in a weedy bin? That was, uh, that was part of the cab company thing. They had to do like a charity event once a year, and he did it one year. Never asked him again. Tell the story again, I No, I'd rather not, cause- Why? We got, cause we got a few sort of, uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because it's because he put a kid in a bin and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so. But we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a, tell it like a, you know, don't, yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's, I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time, but people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, innit? And mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. My dad I, was saying that in hospital, though. Do you know how he was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that. And he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Mm. And if it makes you laugh, you can't help laughing, can you? Do you know Fair what I mean? Enough. So, what are you meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So, but being laughed some... at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person, so if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> so, it's, it's... That's genius! Give me an example of that, give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, give me an example of like, so, uh, uh, you know. I can't, well, I can't because again, that's what I'm saying, I can't tell you the story. Yeah. Because 
there might be someone out there who this person might even be listening and think, I forgot about that and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I prefer to leave it, but I think people know- Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing though? You see, I can't explain- You can't, don't be silly. I prefer to- to leave it, honestly. What, what, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? He was annoying me dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this mm -hmm. before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. He pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. I'm gonna bet. So we'll, we'll leave that. And <laughs> then- <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right. How old was the kid? Um, I'm not sure, but I mean, it was a trip to sort of Blackpool. So I'm guessing. Do you think it was one of the rides? 17. This is yeah. rubbish. 17? Yeah. Oh, he's quite an old lad then. So. Oh, a big lad. Yeah. Well, let's. let's uh, did he pick him up? He picked him up and put him in a wheelie bin. <laughs> Every time he says it, I'm like it. And then on the way back, he got him back again. He said, right, you won't do that again. On the it? way back? Yeah, he left him there for a bit. He left him there, what, they went to Blackpool yeah. and he left the kid in the wheelie bit? Yeah. Did but, he? Yeah. What, was the kid in the wheelie bin when he drove back? Yeah. Did he not get out? No, because how do you get out? It's tricky, isn't it? And <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid, was he? Let's, let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid. Right. Right then. So, uh um... Is your father in prison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he should be. Can we oh. put a song on? Yeah, go on, man. Feeder, come back around, XFM. 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. I asked Carl in the week, right, what animal would he never trust? <laughs> Even if he, he got to know it and it was a pet and everything, what animal would he never trust? What was it? Was this, uh, a wasp? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why wouldn't you trust a wasp, Carl? I just think that, uh um, They're shifty. All, all other animals, if you get them at an early age, <laughs> you can sort of <laughs> make them like you. You can train them. Don't you? A wasp. Nothing. Never. <laughs> Is there anything you do you think there's anything you could do that would kind of uh, win the favour and win the trust of a wasp? What would you have to do, do you think? Well, if you had it from a little grub. Yeah. And you fed it, he had it his favourite marmalade. It doesn't affect it though, does it? A bee dies, doesn't it, if it does it, so it's not gonna like use it willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy for you to say. But a wasp. Uh, I, 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 do you, I, what they, you think they sting arbitrarily? They just sting for the fun of it. They're like, like sort of like delinquent insects. Like delinquent I think so, because last yeah. night, right, I mean, this is part of educating Ricky in a way, but something I learned last night mm. was that tarantulas only bite you if you annoy it. Right. They don't, they don't, they, do you know how people say, oh, if you're in a sleeping bag living in a jungle, a spider will get in there and it'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Apparently not, you've got to really annoy it. The thing that it really hates is having its leg sort of twisted. <laughs> it hates having its leg twisted. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but that's more for- Is that what they said in the documentary? <laughs> No, no, actually, she said, she said, almost story. certainly not, Steve. <laughs> almost certainly not. Were you watching not. the documentary? No, 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 I was reading it. Oh, you were reading it? And, um, it was this guy- Because he scrawled on the wall <laughs> seemed like a public toilet. No, I'll tell <laughs> no, you, no. I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Oh, it's right, part of the, uh, thing. So, in, if part part you don't trust the, the evil wasp, what uh, animal do you trust? What's your favourite? Well, I, I also, uh, I <laughs> <laughs> right, supposing you, you, your mind, right, was put, your mind was got put into any animal, right, and you've got to get from where you are now, Right? To Glasgow, right? As an animal, right? But the authorities will be looking out for it. <laughs> okay. And it's shooting you, right? And, uh, what, what, you went through loads, didn't you? I was thinking about it for, a th it must have took me about an hour. So your yeah. mind, sorry, your mind has been put into an animal. Animal, yeah, so it's you and, and you, this animal thinking right, yeah. you've got to get to somewhere. But, but, but the maybe, maybe you're, you're in the animal? Yeah, maybe your body is in Glasgow or something, and you've got to get this animal to get to you so it can transfer its mind back into your body. But yeah. the but government knows that I'm- oh, <laughs> we've all had that conversation. <laughs> So the government, the government's going, Carl can't have yeah, your own brain back. I only have it with Carl, we don't know yeah, these conversations, yeah. go on, yeah. So yeah, so you're, you're on the way. So think about good. it, you, you think about it just for a second, so, let's recap. <laughs> your, your body's in Scotland. Right. He's the only one that takes my question seriously. Your, your brain is in London, uh -huh. right, <laughs> and there's like loads of security and stuff looking out in the sky for animals or looking on, on the field, seeing what's trying, looking a bit suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Try, trying to get to your body. And they're shooting the brain, them. And they're shooting everything and killing all the animals. What thing would you pick to get your brain to Scotland that wouldn't get caught? And I reckon that I've, I've got the answer. A wasp? 
No, because think about it, a lot of people get irritated if it sort of wanted to get a lift <laughs> <laughs> in a car okay. going down the motorway. If someone's driving it's a, it's a wasp yeah. in the car, it's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. <laughs> Cause a right accident. Yeah. So think of something that people wouldn't, you know. And the clock's ticking as well. You're you taking this really, very seriously. Yeah, you you've only got a couple you of thought, You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, so, uh, something with speed. Yeah, it's something got that a... can travel quite speedily. Well, well that's, yeah. well, And something well, that's also inconspicuous. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. that the sort of thing you're, you're, well, yeah. that's what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. Um, and is it a, is it a creature that's, uh, that's native to this country? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. I've got no idea, Carl, what are you think? Tell him. A flea. A flea? Think Tell him why. It. Think about it. Um, right, this flea, it's got my brain. Mm. It's dead small, the flea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for clearing that up. Yeah. And it's, it, so he goes, right, I've got to go to Scotland. So it jumps on someone who's going to Euston Station. Right. They, they don't know it's there. No. The government can't see it. Mm. <laughs> Come on, can't see it, Steve! <laughs> think of that sight then. <laughs> think if you have just tuned in. Yeah. Now, uh, people get on the train, goes to Glasgow or Edinburgh, wherever in Scotland mm. it is. It jumps off, it goes right, uh, jumps on someone else who's going the way it needs to go, gets there, still no one's seen it, jumps on me, I get my brain back. Yeah. The government are like, <sighs> But, and you feel confident that your brain would fit in that of a fleece? Well, you said there was no <laughs> problem with the size of it. You said you could. That certainly wouldn't be. So, no. No. <laughs> you, I, I pretty much genius. you could download everything you know into a flea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, that's genius. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, What would you thinking. rather have, right? Um, roller skate feet, and there's little wheels, right? Uh, chopstick hands. Yeah? Mm. Instead of hands, chopsticks instead of hands, wheels instead of feet. Yeah. Right? Or acne? Uh, how big are the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take you guys back to the old school? Do you mind if we take, take it back to the old school? Well, yeah, what are you going to do? What uh, are you going to lay on me? No, I just, maybe a bit of a uh, Del Sol. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. a problem? Is it a problem yeah. going back to the old school? No, 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 We don't need to go. As long as it's vinyl shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. Slam it on. I never went. There we go. De La Soul. Yeah. Old school. Brilliant, uh, brilliant, school. brilliant. German name Saturday. Brilliant. Yeah. Good stuff. Carl, so, um, educating Ricky. You were going to tease us now with some of the big headlines. He's looking dancing. He's really is in the group. He really is dancing there. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Okay. The way this works is. What would you rather be, Carl? I teach you superheroes. Three things. A frog boy. Right. Yeah, that you could leap. You could leap onto a house, but you had to go to the frog. You had to go first and leap onto a house. You're, you're, you know, this frog boy. Right, and that, that could be useful, couldn't it? That's very useful, yeah. Right, um, amploid, where you've got your, your hands and microphones, and you can just talk into your hand and your whole body. You can, it's like 100 decibels. You can go, Oi, come here! And you, people can hear you from a miles away, amploid, right? <laughs> right? Or, or saddo, right? And that means that you can go up to anyone and go, all right? And they just, they don't know why, they just get fed up for the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> Which of those would you prefer? <laughs> don't answer that, have a think about it, have a think about it. <laughs> the frog thing, do I look like one or... <laughs> No, you just you and your little Ben Sherman shirt and everything, and they go, and people walk along and they go, oh, look at that young child! From on that roof, he's gonna fall. Which frog boy was there? And you go, blah, blah. and you go down. You go, blah, blah, blah. and they go, it's it's him. And they don't recognise you when you're squatting. And they go, well, I don't know who you are. Mm. And you leap up there and say, you come back?" And they go, "Where's frog boy?" And you're standing up and you go, "Don't know. He went that way." Yeah, I'll probably have that one. Would you go with frog yeah, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, go on. Right, so uh, did that just go out? <laughs> All that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I've got a bad. Hey, look, Rick. Carl's really planned this show. He's, yeah. he's really worked out. He yeah. came in early. He was writing things down. And this lady's coming up with rubbish. And like you're that. just talking rubbish. So, Carl, I know you've right. been thinking this through. What have you got? So, educating Ricky. We did it last week. It's where I teach you some stuff, but rather than just teach you something, a tease you, so you want to know more, so you want to yeah. take in information, <laughs> right? So I've if only people had taught you like that. Carl. So and also, it's the name of a film, sort yeah, of. Yeah, nearly. Yeah. Coming up soon, Henry the Eighth and his. Well, how many wives? <laughs> Come back tomorrow, Carl, to find out. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, well, the little, the little uh, headlines have got to sort of tease you with the story. Yeah, this is gonna hurt me, and I'm not very well. Go on. 
Right, we've got, uh, so, so this is <laughs> what, sorry, I'm, I, I've just got lost for a minute there. It's Educating Ricky. This is Educating Ricky. Yeah. And these are the stories that you're, these are the things you're gonna tell him. Yeah. But these are just headline versions. These are headlines because, because not the actual facts. then I think people will remember things. Okay, alright, so you, yeah, you sort of bullet points. <laughs> Who can forget <laughs> Harry Chinese boy? <laughs> Indeed, I shall never forget that. Yeah. So, <laughs> first headline, yeah. uh, Ooh. don't do that to it, you know it can't live without an head. <laughs> I've got no idea. It could be about the French Revolution, it could be about anything. I know what it is! <laughs> you, it's, no, you think you do. But, no, no, right? it's, it's not I taught you! Is it, is it the fact that cockroaches can live for nine days without a head? That's part of it, but it's something different as well. That's oh, what I thought bring it okay. Up. Okay, brilliant. So uh, that's something to Next one, do you want to work it out? Um, if only it was raining. <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Right. And the last one, uh, what's tomato with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's tomato with you? Yeah. <laughs> Look how pleased he is. You say you're, you're obsessed with puns, aren't you, at the moment, okay? You, you, it you just know. works. I think it works. Yeah. <laughs> you love puns. So, there you go. So, okay. which of those are you going to choose, right? Oh, well, I'm going to have to choose. Don't do that. You know it can't live without it. <laughs> Can oh. we play a tune and we'll come back with yeah, that? Yeah, I can find out what that is. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a history lesson that's going to be. Daddy Warhols and Bohemian Like You on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl, what's the story then? Right, so what, what did you say you're going for? You've got your three titles, your three teasers. Well, I think I'm gonna go for Don't Do That To It. You know it can't live without an edge. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> right. Right. So this is uh, educating Ricky, for those yeah. who have just tuned in. Now, something that Ricky told me about when he was educating me was that a cockroach, if you cut its head off, um, it lives for a week. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And the only reason it dies is because it can't take on water. Sure. It, it doesn't have a great time in that week though, does no. it? I mean, it doesn't no. get much done, I don't know. It just, it just needs water because it can't find any uh -huh. without its eyes. It eventually dies. Yeah. Right? No. So, so it what- No, it's not, that's not, it's, it's anyway. it can't drink. Anyway. So, with the, have you heard that one about worms? <laughs> okay. I have gone. If you cut a worm in half, yeah. um, a lot of people have said in the past that it'll turn into two worms. <laughs> right. But that isn't actually true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> no, it's a, it used to be like, you know, uh, I think it's school said, said it on, yeah, kids at school and stuff. You yeah. yeah. So that, you know, a lot of people think that. Don't pick him up on stuff, Steve. It's bad in the show. So, but what they can do, if you get a worm, right, and you find out which end its head's at, Right. <laughs> if you sort of, you've got its head there on the left hand side, right? And if you sort of cut it in half, right? But not in half. So there's more of its neck than the tail, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. The bit that you've cut off will sort of die, and the rest of the worm will get better. So in a way, you can cut it in half and it'll survive, but only one half will survive. Okay. Yeah? <coughs> what have you learned I wish you hadn't chosen that one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, I know, I know, because it's not, it's nothing, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like a joke, you know that joke, um, how do you tell a worm heads from its own? You put, put it in a, a bowl of flour and wait till it farts. Yes. Right? I told my mate that, right, and he went, what if it coughs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? 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 You, yeah? So, it is, there is a bit of truth in, in that myth of cutting one in half. Where did you get this information? I don't understand where you get this that, information that was from. from the Fatian Times. <laughs> it was right. like the myth, the myth about worms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big, that was the big article that week. Did it take you as long to read that article <laughs> as it took me to tell us just then? <laughs> I like the fact that it starts off debunking a myth yeah. that we had known of anyway. <laughs> exactly. You know the, the big, the big thing about cutting a worm in half and making two worms? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. What's the other one? What's I the mean, other it's not the thing to do either, by the way. Don't, don't go doing it. No. It's not very nice. But, it's cruel. It can get bad. And it's you pointless. Do. Yeah. There's no scientific worth. Yeah. In that. Well, there you go. Okay then. So the others now, you what's see what others? I do. What's no, I'll others? tell you the other titles. You're not having them yet. That's, that's the whole idea of this. People will be driving or about to go out doing the shopping, they'll think about that now. What was the other two? Well, the other two They were... won't think about that, they've forgotten <laughs> no, that already. No, they will. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've forgotten that already. <laughs> if only it was raining and what's tomato with you? Right, that, you've, got to tell, that no, you've got to tell no, tomato no, with no. you. Look, look what's happening, you see, you already want more of education. 
And this is what listeners will be doing. You, I tell you, you, I wish you were a teacher. I so <laughs> wish you were a teacher. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Kids would be saying, I know it's half past three, but I don't want to go home, I want more. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm doing with you. I'm teaching you. Why are you teaching me things about <laughs> not the gut worms in half and what's tomato with you? Please tell me what's tomato with you, Carl. In a bit. In a Carl, bit. In a bit. Rick, what? I'd say he, he's, he's thought the show through, he's yeah. teasing the audience, you're excited, they're listening. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We, yeah. So listen, I think we should all, cause we got your competition to squeeze in, we got all these great good goodies. Let's not this forget, hello, children of the corn. I do feel <laughs> slightly guilty that. that. Before but, but, but now, this is Carl Pilton's show. I, d I don't think we should have our names involved. No. <laughs> it's not fair, is it? And I think we should give Carl the money. I don't want my yeah. name to this. <laughs> it's a Ricky Gervais show. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right, the quiz. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we get out of the way because they've only got an hour to start. Don't you worry about that, Carl. I've already got this one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking on your terms now. Let's play a tune. We'll come back what with, the, with the big competition information. All right, Money Mark. We got a, a classic from Money Mark from his album Push the Button. Play that, Carl. And afterwards, are we excited? You got the competition. Look at his face. He's so excited yeah, now. He's, he's thought this through. He's Rock busters. Rock busters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Agreed. Yeah. 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 Should we do that? Yeah. Brilliant. Go on. You're rejuvenated, are you? Yeah. He's going to get the second hour. Yeah. Yeah. Hangover yeah. finish with? Yeah. It's yeah. all done. Done. Good. Done. Add some water. Excellent. <laughs> That'll often sort it out. Yeah. Well Flea, done. Flea is the best way. He just had an argument with a punter. Someone yeah. called up and said, I don't think the flea's very good. How would the flea uh, know? Tell him, tell him what he said. He said, how would the flea know what train to get on? He went, you get to use the look at the timetable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he, he went, he went, we're not gonna agree on this. He got annoyed at him, because the bloke said he'd be better to be a wasp. Yeah. A wasp would not survive, would it, on, you know, a virgin train or something. <laughs> so. Why, why wouldn't it? It just wouldn't because people d really don't like wasps, so somebody would end up clouting it and killing it and that yeah. brain would never get to his body, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, it is quiz time. Three. <laughs> this is what, this is the moment we've uh, all been looking forward to. Uh, go on. <laughs> do you want to, do, uh, you want to do you want to tease them with the prizes? No. <laughs> not really, because they no. might not bother phoning in. Or, it, or it's not a phone, or is it? It's an email. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let me, a quick reminder then, we've got to the office. I don't want people to think that we'll just keep plugging the office DVD. <laughs> we've got nothing else to give away. No, no one gives anything away. No, no that's why. hanging around in Carl's little room. Did you get a guy from HMV just to nick- did you get a guy just nick these from HMV? Did you get a beard and a ponytail? Was that yeah. the story? <laughs> so we got the Office uh, DVD, obviously. Uh, we got uh, the remix, uh, XFM's remix album, uh, Volume Two. That's uh, sort of remixes of various tunes. Quite a good little compilation album here. One of those kind of the best Coldplay, Travis, Oasis, blah 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 blah, blah albums in the world Excellent. ever. And uh, them, yeah, nothing in the <laughs> exactly. Have a look on there. Four Alanis Morissette, nine Catatonia. <laughs> I just counted that. But thing. Uh, the big one, the big star prize that you're all playing for is, of course, the DVD <laughs> widescreen version of Children of the Corn, <laughs> Stephen King's horror film. Lest do we forget, it's got Peter Horton. <laughs> as the star, <laughs> so so look forward to that. Um, are we g we're going to uh, give Shadow away separately, are we? We're going to uh, do that separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll give away the, sh the DJ Shadow tickets at a separate. Right. So we're playing for those DVDs and CDs, and what we're going to do? Email competition. Don't bother e Email. Yeah, the phone lines are lighting up a bit, so we'll put the phone down. Get the computer started up, yep. and it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you know the answers to these, right? And the way it works, we did it last week, but if you didn't hear it, I give you some initials and like a bit of a cryptic clue, so, and uh, you work out who the band is or the artist, okay. right? It's always it's always a band or an artist. It's not any TV programs and that. Uh -huh. So uh, say like last week we had um, uh, we had S, didn't we? And it was uh, better than the average homeless person, and that was Super Trump. Right, mm -hmm. so it's not always XFM music, it can be anything. And there's three of them. Uh um, they have got to get all three of them. You've got to get all three and email in there. I don't know how long this intro so far has taken. Yeah, but, but, but here we go then. Right. All right. First initials, L R. L R. L R. Okay. Right? Yeah. And the cryptic clue is, uh, I'll You take... should have thought it through. You should have thought it out before you came in. Yeah, yeah. cryptic clue. You've got it. Yeah. Um, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Yeah. Yeah. L R. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. And don't shout out if you know the answer, cause... No. No idea, Carl. I've no idea. Right, okay, so there's one. Right, the second one. F L. F L. This one's actually been emailed in as a suggestion. Okay. Uh, that person who's done that, don't email in, cause you're disqualified <laughs> from the comp. 
so <laughs> I'd love him to be a teacher. So it would be great, wouldn't it? Just to see him one day. Can't we do that? Can't we get you a placement somewhere to for you to teach history to sort of like you know fourteen year olds? I think like. science, Rick. Science would be good. Yeah. Right. I, I, I'll tell you what. Uh, there, you got a lot of them. Um, t just quickly for me, Carl. Explain, say, um, what can we get him to explain that everyone uh, learns a kid science? Uh, photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, FL, right? Yeah. FL are the letters and the cryptic clue. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. Blow okay. the candles out before you eat the cake. The letters there, FL. All right. right. We've got LR, we've got FL. Yeah. And finally, the third one. N S. Hold on, how many have they got to get? Three. Three. Don't worry, there's no more after this, really. right? N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very quickly recap, just in case we missed any. Oh. L, L R is the first one. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Cryptic clue. N. Uh, we had F L. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. And the final one, NS, how can I wash up in something shaped like that? If you think you know the bands, you just email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you win the DVDs, the CDs, and uh, that's it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> He's it, great, isn't he? I could just, I could sit here and watch him all day do this. Wow. Um, so ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, and we'll give the answers out just before, you know, we finish, because... Okay. Then we'll keep them up. All right. Okay. Oh, just briefly, this is uh, module four uh, A, uh, natural history. Yeah. yeah. Just, just briefly explain um, uh, evolution. Since you know natural selection, origin of the species, Darwin. That just briefly describe. That's the monkey thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Oh, well done. Yeah, go Great on. Tune, Carl. What was? Don't you have fancy playing? Um, Rick. <laughs> I know you're always keen to rejuvenate the reputations of certain artists when you think maybe they've been kind of unfairly treated in yeah. the, uh, history of rock and roll. Yeah. I'll tell you a band I've always thought has been treated badly. Yeah. The Lemonheads. You on. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lemonheads, if I could talk, I'd tell you. Yeah. He wrote some good little tunes every yeah, day yeah. before he it's went to potty. What would you rather have, right? Hey, Carl, would you rather have a lemon for a head, <laughs> a radio for a head, um, what other band is there with something head? Radiohead. Oh, you've done that. Yeah. <laughs> or a talking head. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Third one. No, but you don't know what. You know, it, no, because you've got you, and then you've got uh, someone else's head on top, and it, it doesn't shut up. It's my head. <laughs> it's my talking head coming out of your head. <laughs> yeah. So a radio head, just a radio head, and you can tune in, right? You know, you said the Carl that <laughs> wasps were one of the most irritating <laughs> things on the planet. Can I offer another suggestion? <laughs> yeah. You with me on that? All right, all right. I am <laughs> no, today. go on then. Okay. Educating Ricky, we got, we got, we got two left, don't we? I'm looking We've forward to this. We've still got these. two more. We've still got, uh, if only it was raining. <laughs> and, uh, what's tomato with you? <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, I wish the listeners could see how happy he was when we started getting emails coming in. Oh yeah, people, they're flooding in actually. Yeah, and he's oh, so happy, he started dancing along going, well, that proves it's a good competition, he's dead! Look at that, look at that! Oh, look at that, mate. What? There's look loads of people that. emailing there. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is, Carl, it's not the competition, it's this, Children of the, the Corn! corn. Wide screen DVD! <laughs> Next week, some staples and pencils! <laughs> I'll tell you what. A piece of carpet! <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? <laughs> right. Now we've got them and they're staying. Something we, we've still got to do. Yeah. Is, uh. He is running the show now. He's doing well, isn't he? Because I've done nothing. I've done nothing towards this. I'm coming up my hangover a little bit if you're worried. Remember, <laughs> remember, so, go remember, on. Remember last week we yeah. started a new feature called, yeah, uh, That Song's Got a Good Story in It. And, Brilliant. And, I love your catchy titles. They're excellent. Right. And the idea was it was a story in yeah. a song which meant that if it was played on the radio, you couldn't just like fade it out because you've got to have the full story. Yeah. Right. Well, last week we started the feature with Stevie Wonder, uh, Living for the City. Yeah. Right? But you played the version where it fades out. Yeah. I didn't know there was more to it. So, Steve told me what album it was on. Yeah. I've gone and got it. We've got the second half to that story. Yeah. This week. 
Yeah. So, you've got half the story, what was it, what had happened is like, <laughs> the lad's living in Mississippi, there's not much going on there. Mississippi? Is that, that's someone off Rainbow's mum? Yeah. Um, living, what, Mississippi? Yeah. He, his dad's, was his, his mum was a cleaner. Yeah. Try to get by, they didn't have a great life, but they still looked after the kids and yes. stuff. There's more to it than that. Have you got it ready? There's more to it than okay. that! I should hope so! We'll probably do it at about half past three. So look forward okay. to that, the second half right. of Stevie Wonder's Living for the City, <laughs> a week later. <laughs> <laughs> I love a show that's carefully planned. Uh, so listen, that, I, I, I watched got, the tomato This isn't thing. a show, this isn't a show. This isn't a radio show. This is, I don't know what this is. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we, we might as well start banging tambourines and <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is rubbish, right? But why are you like, some people emailed in, <laughs> put him in a wheelie bin, went to Blackpool, right? Um, some people emailed in the stories, songs with stories in it. One of them was Babushka and he went, what's that? And I went and asked Katie Bush, I went, what is it? I said, oh, it's about a woman who dresses up as another woman to introduce her husband. He went, they wouldn't work. <laughs> Just dismissed it like that. Why do you think it would work? Because you'd, you'd know. I mean, say like, say like, um, right, Suzanne, right, who yeah. I go out with, yeah. right? She can see me from, say, if I'm coming down the high street. <laughs> yeah. She knows it's me by the way I walk. <laughs> right. So, just the fact that this woman went and put a wig on, there is no... <laughs> You haven't even heard the song! I know, but you're saying that she put a disguise on and he's yeah. like, oh, I fancy her, and he takes her out and he, he doesn't know it's his missus. <laughs> just... You're not, you're not buying it. I mean, I'm, I'm controlling this Where feature. is the flea? Where is the flea with your brain going to Glasgow? Perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babushka, rubbish. Carl, can we have the tomato story after the next tune? Yeah. Bit of Coldplay? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Coldplay. A scientist on XFM 104.9. Right. Competition, isn't it? Uh, no, it's Educating Ricky Part 2. Oh, is it? Yep. I wasn't even listening. He's doing all the work, I wasn't even listening. <laughs> oh, and he spilled some water down that. Right, what's this one again then? Right, uh, What's the uh, teaser headline? Teaser headline is, what's tomato with you? Brilliant. Yeah? yeah. Brilliant. How excited were you when you came up with that? You couldn't wait to come in and tell us, could you? <laughs> That's just, <laughs> I, I think it's please. a good one because you won't forget it now, will you? Okay. I mean, like the worm one. What's so special about the worm? Uh, you know, a lot of people think that if you cut a worm in half, it will, <laughs> two worms will grow, but no. What happens is if you cut the head end slightly nearer the tail than the head, the tail will die, um, but the worm with the head will be okay. So, um, it's exploded a myth, and it taught me something. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> the second one, part two of Educating Ricky, uh, what's tomato with you? Yeah. What this one's about is, uh, ages ago, <laughs> this is scientific. It's never, it's never, never a date. It's <laughs> never a country a location. <laughs> okay, settle down, children. Now this is A level history. Right. Once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a when a mental place with swords was a king. <laughs> Forget his name, but he was a loony. Uh, yeah. So and it was we uh, literally ages ago. Yeah. So uh, good luck <laughs> in the exam. <laughs> yeah. Right. So like you know, all right, m many years ago. Oh yeah, that's the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleared that up. Uh, Go on. Um. They thought tomatoes were poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Um, because what- what- Hold on, are they gonna be proved wrong at the end of this story? Well, what- Cause I don't wanna give away the ending, but is it something to do with the- d are they poisonous tomatoes? No. Nope. Oh, you haven't been <laughs> I don't believe it. But, go on, but, go on. Are they gonna be eating tomatoes all this time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, what's tomato with you anyway? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I think what's Let's just recap you? quickly, recap quickly. Many years ago, yeah. when people thought tomatoes were poisonous. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they, they didn't know they were poisonous then, because they were still eating them, but what was that? Well, they're not. But they're not poisonous. Ah, but hang on a minute. All right. It's not, I, I'm just gonna listen. I'm okay, not even gonna yeah, talk. No, okay, I'm not gonna tackle so, anymore. If you remember, years ago, they didn't have, like, pottery plates. <laughs> they had, they had lead plates. Right. <laughs> what are you talking? Just let him talk. Sorry, what year is this? Let him talk. Come on. <laughs> Plates made out of lead. And right. what they'd end up doing, they'd, they'd say, right, do you want a tomato? And they'd go, yeah, all right. And they'd put the tomato on the lead plate and cut it. And because of the acid in the tomato, right, it would sort of, uh, sort of, uh, make the lead runny. And the lead would go into the tomato and they'd say, oh, it's lovely this. And they'd be eating it. They'd get food poisoning, lead poisoning, what have you. And they'd be really ill. So, they thought tomatoes were poisonous, so they didn't eat them for many years. And, and when you say they, do you mean the happen. people of Narnia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this did not happen. Where was this happening? Uh, sort of in, in Britain and that. <laughs> <laughs> you 
put him on the spot there. <laughs> oh, I hope there's no, uh, uppity pupils at this school when they go, what do you mean, sir? Oh, if you're gonna, oh, I'm fed up <laughs> with you. Do you understand? No. So, so the, the No, 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 you've got, no, 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 right, right, okay, first of all, Carl, where'd you get this information from? Where did you get that? Fourteen times Do you know, I, I, you can't remember. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> But, but, what, I don't, why don't you think that makes sense? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> what? Someone once got lead poisoning from a tomato. No, not just one, loads, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> no, no, no. Why is this educating me? Because I'm telling you that tomatoes, you need I them. can't take anything away from this. Yep. I don't know what to take away from this. What have I learned? <laughs> what have I learned? Don't mix lead with tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> why is this educational in any shape or form? What are you what are you telling me? A long time ago in the land of Glunk, <laughs> right, where the ninnies did slib, right, they thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate plates of lead. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, but we all know tomatoes aren't poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> is what that you, what, is what, that what we're talking about? The story? Is that the moral of the story? Don't believe these people that I'd never heard of before. What are you talking about, Carl? I just, I think it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird, yeah. It's, it's the same people that were spreading those malicious worm rumours. <laughs> <laughs> My hangover's coming back. I've got to get some water. Play a record that was rubbish. <laughs> I'm eating. Hey? I'm eating. So am I. Carl, you have to carry on. Um. Right, yeah. <laughs> we're all eating. Oh, crisps, food crisps. Mm. So right. last week, yeah, you were playing your feature, um, that song I shouldn't switch off because I'm enjoying the story. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, we played Living for the City, only you played the single mix, which yeah. doesn't have the entire second act, if yeah. you will. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> Carl, you've not heard it before. I've heard it before. You're excited um, to hear the second act, because as far as you're aware, there was a young guy, he's living with his family, they're fairly impoverished in Mississippi, but, you know, they're happy, they're getting on all right. Mm. But you're not even aware that he's, he's moving to the big city. No, it just fades out. Well, and that's I've, the city I've, in question. I mean, I've liked this song for, must be, you know, three or four years, mm. and I've always listened to the single version. I had no idea that I didn't know the full story. So, um... Yeah. It's not, I mean, it, I mean, and I know you, your, your attention to detail, you like to know the full story, like, where everything Well, the whole idea it. of the feature is to say, yeah. you know, you've got to listen yeah. to the, the song. Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? That was, like, a few, few years where? back. In, where? Was in, it? Where was in it? Britain, yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. It was a problem all over the world. They have to deal with it. <laughs> you make it up now. Is it so, something you saw in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. So anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, so the Lion so, and the Witch, yeah. Go on. <laughs> go on. So far then, what what do we what did we learn in this story from We learned so the... far from Stevie that there's a young lad, he's as I say, he's, he's got a family, he's fairly happy, except they're very poor, and they struggle to get by, but they're happy and they're doing it anyway. He's moving to the big city. Mm. Carl, this is the bit you didn't realise. Just play the track. Okay, here we go. So this is halfway through. This now, is halfway yeah? through the tune now. This is right. you've not heard this before, no. have you? That's okay. Go. We accidentally played an episode of Kojak. <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> we were gonna play a song. Carl, what did you make of that then? Yeah, what's happening there then? Eh? He, he, he was living with his family, he was fairly impoverished. He's moved bus, to the new- bus he was on, was it? Right, so- So, so what's your take on it, Carl? After hearing that, what I've worked out by it, the first part that we heard last week, uh, everything's alright, but it's not that great living in Mississippi, right? So he goes, oh, I'm gonna go to New York. Plenty of work there. Yeah. They'll they'll sort of accept me as you know and everything. So he goes there, and uh, the weird thing is, he's hardly like been in New York for a second. <laughs> he gets on a bus. All of a sudden, some cop is arresting him. He's like, "What's going on?" And then he's got ten years. I mean, didn't. Well, you can't hear because the levels are quite bad. I mean, I work with sound. <laughs> I can't really hear what's going on. You're criticising Stevie. I'm sort of guessing that he didn't pay his bus fare or something. And, uh, ten years. <laughs> he got ten years for that. I, d I really don't know what was going on. Right. Oh. But you're not happy because obviously it's quite. Do you, do you think Stevie Wonder left out some vital ingredients in the story in your in your education, like where it was, or <laughs> at least he got where it was. You can tell what year it is. It's uh, right in the mid seventies. There, that funky, that funky New York seventies sound. All right. Yeah. You're pretty disappointed, aren't you? You're pretty well, worried because so what went on? Yeah. What you happened? know, well, you know, you're aware, Carl, that that because that shows quite a bad image of New York. It's quite an intolerant city, by all accounts. They arrested a guy, but it is quite seemingly bad for being black. That's that's one song where you shouldn't go to New York. Killing a Georgie Rod Stewart. That lad, he was doing all right in Scotland, and said, "I'm going to go to the big city." He got done in. Yeah. Seems to me it's that you don't go there if you've if you've got like problems. Don't think New York's the answer. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hold on, 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 hold on
so what are you saying? That if you're, if you're a bit fed up with your life, but you got, you know, you live with your mum and she's like really nice and you got friends <laughs> and life's not that bad, yeah. don't, don't, don't go and have, don't go and be murdered or what? What are you saying? Don't go and be murdered. Well, don't go and- leave, what, leave what, 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 go on. Leave home, but don't go to New York. Right. There's mm -hmm. other places. Where would you go? Sheffield? I uh, don't know, but- Yeah. But so, you, you're a little, you're a little mank lad, weren't you? You're in, you're, you're in your garden. We had your train set. Your brother blew up. There was a horse next door, and you thought, "Ah, oh, I want to go to London." So, do you know what I mean? You sort, you're, you're, you're like that. Yeah, but you're, you're all, in many ways like the fella yeah, in that song, and like, and like um, Georgie. No, because in many, I, in many ways, you are a bit like Georgie, aren't you? I had a car, so no, yeah, you're a little bit like Georgie in many no, ways. I didn't what? get on a bus. I had a car, <laughs> so I wasn't gonna have the problem he had for a start. Right. But I mean, I suppose there's loads of things you can look at that story and take out of it. That's what I like about the feature, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? So that's what you like about the feature. The feature that we're doing. All oh, right. The, that song's got a good story. If you had a time machine, where would you go? What year would you go? Would you probably go the sixties? Okay. Would you go forward at all? What's no. your favourite year in the future? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. If someone could tell your future to you, if someone could, it, you, you wouldn't want to know. No. You wouldn't, you're straight away, you knew. Straight <laughs> yeah, away, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. no hesitation. Yeah. You've thought about this, haven't you? No. You've okay. thought to yourself, if someone could reveal my future, Carl, you're you've, not got to, you've got to do one of these things, right? You know, he's not, you know, like Quantum Leap, like a fella in Quantum Leap, what's his name? I forget his name, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, you've got a little fella with Hal, and he's telling you, right? Would you rather go back, and you go in someone's body, would you rather go back, um, you could go back to be, um, uh, a donkey? Donkey that's carrying Mary to Bethlehem. You could, uh, be a Saigon prostitute in 1975. <laughs> All those GIs queuing up. Think uh, about it. Uh, oh, or, um, you could be, uh, um, Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Which of those would you be? Carl. Uh, <laughs> think about it. Probably Moby Dick's the best option, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> what, what work have we got? <laughs> Yeah. Play a tune, Carl. After this, we need to educate Ricky for the final time. Final time, educating Ricky. We've still got to give away these tickets to DJ Shadow, and we've got to give the answers to your magnificent. Oh, we've only got a quarter now. It's not enough time in this show. It's packed. <laughs> Race for the prize from the Flaming Lips. Competition answer time. Is it, Carl? Yeah, we did. Uh, we did this like uh, about an hour ago. Rockbusters. Yeah. Rockbusters. With Carl Bilkington. Yeah, uh, I gave you some initials. The initials sort of uh, made up a band. We had LR. We had. Uh, NS. Yeah, we just, had just, just, well, give us the clues. Give us the clues and the answers. What? Right. So, LR. The clue was, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. What's the the answer? answer. Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Good. Lou That's Reed. very good. That's okay. very good, Carl. Isn't All it? Right. Yeah, okay. Next one. FL. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. yeah? We just play them. Flaming right. lips. There we are. Very okay. Good. And the final one was <laughs> NS. How can I wash up in something shaped like this? Yeah. That was N Sync. Yeah. N Sync. N sync, it'd be a bit. N sync. If you had a sink, you wash up in a sink. Yeah. Shaped like an N, you'd be like, oh, I've got <laughs> everything out. So, so, has anyone got that? Wow. Right. Well, so, no, there are right answers. I have to say, Carl, you've done very well. It was a, an enormous response. I'm just going to click on one of these emails randomly. I'm not even going to look. Who we got here? We've got. Kath Turner is the winner. Kath Turner gets those great uh, DVDs and just CDs, including Kath is watching Children of the Corn. Tonight. Children of the Corn. She, she was going out, but corn. I imagine she's going to catch. She's going to phone a few friends and say, "I can't come out on ill." <laughs> exactly. They go, "You're not. You're not watching uh, Children of the Corn." I go, "No, no, no, no." no. And uh, we've learned as well that there are about uh, five other sequels to Children of the Corn, so maybe we'll give those away in weeks. What else have we got to do? Uh, have we got anything else to do? Quick, Carl. What would you rather be, a tree frog or a tree crab? Quick. What would you rather be? Straight tree away. Tree frog or tree crab? Tree frog. Why? I don't know what one is, you just said pick one quick. A tree frog or a tree crab? What would you rather be? A tree frog, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what would you rather be? A tick or a leech? They both suck blood, there's not a lot in it. Leech. Go on. Why? Because I heard they've got, uh, I was reading about them yesterday, they've got 300 teeth and, and what they do is, <laughs> if they get on you, right, and you didn't get it off with a match or anything, <laughs> it would stay there and it eat five times the amount of blood to make it five times bigger than the size of itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, you're a scientist! And then it'll just go, oh, I've had enough, and it falls off. Okay. Na naturally. What would you rather be, a puppy or a kitten? 
Ken. Why? Just look better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Great adverts there on XFM. I enjoyed them. Point nine. <laughs> Absolutely. We, some, we have to give away these, uh, three pairs. We have to give these away, Rick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got three pairs of DJ shadows. I know, but turn up with this. This is so jam-packed. I think we've planned too much for this show. <laughs> we have, indeed. We next week, this is the, I, I think we have a little bit flabbier next week. <laughs> Rick. Do less, do can less. We, Rick, can we chill out next week, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go on, um, then. So, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, any, any ideas, guys? Any questions? Sort of DJ shadow related questions? Any shadow? DJ shadow. Or DJ? Questions, what Carl? Does, any ideas? What does then? the word DJ mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too easy. It's t I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something I do know. Go on. Right. But I, I can't really get a question out of it. Go on, just tell us. There's a shadow somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already good, isn't it? I'm loving it no, already. No, no, right? There's a shadow. I think it was in America. Yeah. And uh, it's on a quiet road. I, I'm guessing somewhere like Boston. That's what I, I well, imagine. <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> somewhere yeah. like Boston. And. People at night used to see this shadow moving about, and they'd go, what's that? Right? And, and it got known, that the town, the little local town got known for this shadow, but it didn't cause any problems. People what are you used... talking about? Well, it was <laughs> like... You lost me. What are you talking no, about? do you know, like, some places get famous, like, uh, Scotland's got the Loch Ness Monster and that, but, no, it, doesn't cause any, yeah. but it doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't exist, Right? So there's this shadow walking about on the road. And, what? Uh, what do you mean? No, what's he? Again? <laughs> rubbish. Right, so he's Nonsense. walking about. Where did you read this? Where did you see this? He's walking about. This was on the internet, and I'm Oh, sure... sorry! <laughs> sorry! Right. I thought it was shite. <laughs> I didn't so... know it was on the internet. Right, so this shadow is moving about, and, God. uh... Independently of an object. Yeah, and the and the local mayor and that is like, yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's not harming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor involved. <laughs> Was he mayor. elected to that post? Hey, hey, mayor, we got a problem down here. Seems like a shadow. <laughs> uh, well, it's not causing any. Problem. No, it was <laughs> just causing any problem. Yeah, go but on. That's, but that's the thing. It was left for years, and then it did start causing problems. <laughs> I see. That's it. If you leave these shadows to go unchecked, Rick, they go crazy. Yeah. You let them run amok in the yeah. city. Yeah. You've got to stand what did on, it do? on what the road what, what did the shadow do? It was pushing people off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> oh, I'll, fi I'll find out more for that next week. <laughs> Right, that'll tease Oh, them. you're a maniac! We'll do more on that. <laughs> we haven't had time for educating- Please never have children. Right, listen. <laughs> you are Just a maniac! Just promise me now you'll never have kids. No, no. We haven't got time Okay, listen, uh, alright, DJ Shadow, have we got time for these to give these tickets away? Yeah, if they just call up, we'll- No, um, I'll tell you what, I've got a question, right? Go on. Where do you th where does Carl think this may have taken place? If you've been listening to the show, where do you think this evil shadow has been running amok? Let yeah. us know. The number, Carl? Uh, ooh, 08, 700, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, so, Excellent. uh, but that's it, we are that's actually it. out of time. We are indeed. Now. Have I got, have I got time for a song for ladies? It's a bit tight, I was Why? told to finish now. Too. I know, but we've got to get finished early today, so. Why? Just because we have and we're wasting more time talking about why we have to. Oh, this is pathetic. So, <laughs> the call up. Uh, where did I see the ghost? Yeah. And you've got to pick the tickets up from reception. You can go tonight see DJ Shadow. Shoddy, That's it. this right? is shoddy. Right, see you then. <laughs>